What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames for another Kind of Funny Gameplay stream. It's a special occasion today because, yes, today is the 10-year anniversary of Batman Arkham City. I can't believe it. Uh, I am Barrett Courtney. I am one of your resident Batman super fans here at Kind of Funny. And here, joined with me, the usual host of these streams, today he is my Nightwing Snowbike Mike. Mikey, how are you doing today? Barrett, I'm ready to defeat crime and save this city with you, my man. You know I'm into it. I can't wait. Hell yeah, man. So yeah, the idea here is usually on the Monday through Friday streams here at twitch.tv slash kind of funny games. We give you two hours of uh, fun gameplay time and then uh, usually y'all fill up this bar below us here and you get a, a, an extra hour. But since it's Batman Arkham City's 10 year anniversary to celebrate similarly to how we uh, celebrated the Arkham Asylum 10 year anniversary two years ago, I thought it'd be fun to sit down and just guarantee we're playing through the story today. We're, we're sitting down and we're playing through Arkham City. Now, similarly to Arkham Asylum, if we just beeline the story in Arkham City, I can beat it in roughly five hours. So it's not that crazy. It's like how we did with Arkham Asylum where Greg, Kevin, and I sat down on a Sunday like afternoon and we played it all in one sitting. So that is like the basis of the plan today. But there's going to be some fun ways for y'all to mess around with us us to interact and uh, kind of like make some decisions maybe for us uh, throughout the stream, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. Just a reminder, there's so many ways to support us if you want to, you know, maybe not always uh, are able to watch live here at twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. Go over to youtube.com slash kindoffunnyplays and uh, subscribe over there. We've got like, a bunch of streams going up over there. We have the Metal Gear Solid uh, series playthrough. We just wrapped up Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. That was a really uh, fun time. And of course, we'll have uh, this stream probably up in several different parts uh, later on youtube.com slash kind of funny plays. Uh, so welcome uh, YouTube viewers later on uh, to part one of uh, the Arkham City playthrough here. And of course, one of the other ways that you can help support us uh, kind of funny are now Epic Creator Partners. If you're buying games from the Epic Store uh, or buying V-Bucks on uh, through Fortnite on any other platform or uh, buying... Mike, what's the currency in Rocket League? Do you know what the currency is in Rocket League? Uh Rocket Bucks. Rocket Bucks. Buying Rocket Bucks through Rocket League, you can use the Epic Creator Code Kinda Funny to help support us at no extra cost uh, for yourself. And if you're getting into the mood to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of Batman Arkham City, you can pick up Batman Arkham City through the Epic Store uh, for, I believe, $19, $20, I think is the, the price right now. So if you're wanting to get into the mood and play uh, Batman Arkham City, use that Epic Creator Code Kinda Funny to help us out at no extra cost for yourself mike how you doing today it's it's i i i'm really excited this is a great way to start the week on a monday but i want to know how how are you feeling how was your weekend you know what my weekend was really uh really fun i actually watched dc fandom and i got really excited for this with you bear when you said 10 years i was blown away just like the chat wrote like holy snap it's been 10 years that's wild to think about and this is also one of my favorite games, and I'm sure the chat's favorite games around, right? Like this Batman franchise that this team created is something that will live on in my heart forever because it was truly something special where I became the bat. I got to be pumped up on this gameplay and the experience. So yeah, awesome villains, great superhero, can't wait to see what we do today. I'm so pumped up. Man. Hell yeah. So yeah, the idea here is like we're we're going to play until we roll credits. That's kind of the essential idea here today, Mikey. And of course, you can you can pop off whenever you need to. Like we're just we're chilling out here. We're hanging out all day. I'm going to trust you to be my Nightwing or if you got to go off and do your own thing, you got to go off. But I know I can trust you to come back and help me when I'm in my time of need. Right, Mike? Um, yeah. We will also have uh, possibly some other uh, uh, pop ins later today today. I know Tamar Hussein, who's a regular co-host of Kind of Funny Games Daily, uh, also another Batman Arkham super fan, might pop in here uh, later today at some point. I know he's a busy man, but I know he, he loves these games as well, and I know he wants to celebrate them whenever he can as well. So we might get some more later uh, later on in the day. Uh, someone in the YouTube comments over the weekend called him Tamoracle, like Oracle. Oh, uh, I like that. With, with, like with Tamar's love of, of uh, wordplay there, I, I felt like he would appreciate that one so whenever he pops in we got to make sure to introduce him as Tamoracle. um so yeah the idea again we're gonna play through the story but 
there are ways to uh, make us, uh, you know, hang out a little longer. Uh, instead of uh, doing an extra hour each time the bar is filled today, as y'all know, in Arkham City, there are plenty of side missions to do. So every time chat fills the bar today, y'all will earn a side mission of your choosing for me to do. So once a bar is filled, we'll, we'll put up a poll for uh, people to vote on of what uh, side mission they want me to go do, and uh, we'll guarantee it. I might not be able to get it, get to it right away, depending on like where we're at in the story, of course, uh, but we will guarantee uh, side missions as y'all uh, fill up the bar throughout the day. Um, anything else, Mikey? Anything else that I'm missing? This is the first time I've really introduced a Twitch uh, gameplay stream, so... No. You okay. crushed it again, Bear. Just like you crushed our anime talk. Don't forget that me and Bear talked all about My Hero Season 5, and I would love for you to watch that because I really love talking anime with Bear. But Bear, you always crush it on the hosting, and guess what? Mitchell Hop. Feels the hype. 50 gifted subs oh right my now gosh. from Mitchell Hop to help <laughs> fill up our first bar to help us go out and add one side mission to our goal right now. I want to see all of the villains Twitch chat. So let's come together. Remember, even just one gifted sub helps fill up that bar so much. Just like Mitchell Hop with the 50 gifted subs. If we fill up these bars, we get to see all of the awesome villains in this catalog. And I'm really excited, Bear, because you are the Batman expert. I haven't played Arkham City in a long time, right? Yeah. So I'm really excited to see who are the villains. What does this look like? It's been so long, I don't even remember. Exactly, man. So, Mike, that's, that's one of the questions I want to give uh, to you before we also uh, show some other ways that the chat can mess with me today. Um, and by not just adding side missions, there's going to be some other fun in incentives for y'all. Um 2011, take me back 10 years ago, October 2011, oh. what was Snowbike Mike up to 10 years ago? 2011 was Snowbike Mike turning 21, so that means I was young, wild, and free, as Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg would say for sure. Uh, I was probably <laughs> right here in this beautiful home. That would have meant that the young kids were living next door to me, the big party house. Okay. We would have been partying, snowboarding playing a ton of video games, so I know Batman. I definitely played that when it came out. And uh, just having fun up here in Tahoe. I was, that was a wild time. That was a wild time back then. 2019 to about 24 year old Mike, a, a wild, wild one. That's awesome. Yeah, I was thinking about it like 10 years ago. Um, you know, we're, we're a little bit separated in age. I was 16. Um, going 16, on, okay. yeah, I would have been turning 17 that coming February. So October, 2011, I was, uh, you know, I was the, um, let's see, the, I was the president of the drama club at the time. Um, since oh, the, that's awesome! Since the fall play was probably going to start later in the month or early in November, we were probably getting ready. God, I'm trying to think of what play it was. Oh, I think it was um, Mousetrap by Agatha Christie. We were we were preparing for Mousetrap by uh, Agatha Christie. I played Sa uh, Sergeant Trotter um, in that play. That was a really fun time. That's when my hair was blonde. I dyed my hair a lot in high school, Mike. Let me tell you, I had a bunch okay. of uh, okay. random colors. I once had a blue and pink hair going on at the same time, Mikey. I was a wild child. Um, That's a wild one. I like it. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was blonde at the time. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember if I was actually able to pick up Arkham City the day it came out. I probably picked it up during, uh, during the first, like, launch week, but I can't remember if I actually, like, had the time to be able to, like, pick it up on launch day to be able to play. I do remember, though, I was living over in Alameda in the East Bay, uh, you know, in high school, living, uh, with my mom, uh, in my bedroom, I had, like, my tiny, like, my tiny... The TV that I had at the time was probably no bigger than my uh, 1440p monitor right here, which is like, <laughs> I couldn't tell you how big, but it was like across the room, so I'm kind of playing on this tiny screen, but like my mind was being blown that week playing through Arkham City, and like I remember, I remember like whenever I would leave my room to take breaks or if like I was wrapping up for the night, like I would go and like fanboy and geek out and tell my mom like all this stuff that she did not understand whatsoever and I uh, could just like oh my god and then you know the uh the bat Bruce Wayne got captured and all this stuff and um it was it was really that was that was a sem playing this game for the very first time was a very seminal moment for me I would say um oh. in my in my gaming history you know yeah this is gonna be a great one I can't wait to read the chat and have them tell us about like their favorite memories some of their favorite characters yeah. because for me Baird it's funny you know I didn't play Arkham Asylum. I never played Asylum, so I Whoa. jumped to the city, and I, I had never seen Arkham Asylum nor played it 
until you played it with Greg, I believe, last year to celebrate that. So Two years that ago was at my this first point time into that. But uh, yeah, I was City and Onward. And actually, I'm going to say something that a lot of people don't like. But I actually loved Origins, like loved it there. I loved. You'd Origins be surprised. A lot. There, there is a group of people who love Origins, Mike. I you, love you, Origins. Yeah, like yep. you would, you would find some friends in that in that camp for sure. Okay. Um, another way that we are celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Batman: Arkham City today over on YouTube.com/slash Kind of Funny Games at 2:30 p.m. Pacific is the YouTube premiere for episode two of The Arkham Files, where I break down why Batman: Arkham City is the best at actually making you feel like Batman. Man, so that'll premiere at 2:30 p.m. And so that'll probably be our br roughly our break time, right, Mikey? We're gonna mm, we're like gonna that, play okay. the opening hours here, and then at, at like at 2:28, we're gonna like uh, we're, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna go back on standby, all that good stuff. Then we're gonna spam the link for the YouTube premiere in the chat. Hopefully, some chatters join us for the YouTube premiere of the second episode of the Arkham Files. And then we'll have like a 10 minute break here on the on the stream, and then we'll come back after the YouTube premiere and uh, play through the rest of the game. So that's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much our schedule for the rest of the day, Mikey. Um, and so with that, the last thing I want to introduce to y'all are some other incentives uh for today so can't really see it now because the moon is right there so if you gift five subs uh when you gift them you can choose a gadget that i cannot use on the next combat encounter if you gift 10 subs i am not allowed to use detective vision during the next stealth encounter and if you gift 20 subs i am not allowed to use any purchase in the next uh, purchase in the next stealth encounter i have to stay on the ground so there you Woo! go. Uh, and th the last thing I will do is one shout out Roger who helps uh, come up with uh, some of these incentives here. But I also want to shout out Roger Percorny today as well. He is the editor for the Arkham Files, all four episodes. Uh, I'm very excited for y'all to see episode two. I think both uh, like both Roger popped off. I'm really proud of the, uh, the, the scripts that uh, I put in, all that good stuff. But I also want to thank Roger as well. Um, usually my Mondays look like this. I do the Games Daily Post Show, and then an hour later, I'm directing PS I Love You XOXO. And the next thing I know, it's like 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and I'm exporting PS I Love You to upload everywhere. All that good stuff. So I want to thank Roger for covering for me on those aspects today so we can hang out and have a fun time. So everybody, give a round of applause to Roger for his excellent work with all of the video essays he's been doing lately, all of the great content he's been doing, and then to thank him uh, for, you know, helping me out and uh, covering for me for PS I Love You XOXO today. I want you to tweet at Rod's former the gif of Patrick Starr where he's got the tiny face and he just says, I love you. Just that, just tweet at him that that gif right there on Twitter, please. That would uh, that would that would be greatly appreciated. Um, with that being said, Mike, I think there's I th I don't think there's anything else to really talk about. We do have a side mission for the chat to vote on very early before we've even started the game, which is very impressive. So hold on, let me update that really quick. Where did that go? There we go. There we go. So we've got one out of seven side missions here. Uh, putting up a poll now, um, let's see here, uh, which side mission, and then the first poll is gonna go up between these three, so we've got Azriel, um, Bane, and Zaz, Ooh. so we're gonna put that poll up right now, I'm getting that typed in, y'all can have, like, five minutes to vote on it, um, so yeah, since we already filled up the bar one time, y'all get a side mission, and y'all get to vote right now. You have five minutes. Which side mission do you want me to tackle? Uh, we have seven side missions that we are going to uh, kind of allow for today. Not every side mission, of course, available in the game that we will uh, cover today. Because uh, if we let people vote uh, for the Riddler side mission, we would be here for maybe two days, Mike. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Because of but how I'd many never get those. I'll never how get many those. fucking Riddler trophies there are on the game. We might actually start the Riddler uh, side mission today, just so I can start collecting um trophies and like puzzles and stuff along the way for xp purposes but that'll be really the only reason that we would focus on uh the riddler so um go vote in that poll who do you want to see uh first in the side mission uh aspect of the game and i'm gonna be honest mikey 
we're getting close enough, as some of y'all know, whenever I'm on a, uh, a Twitch stream, I've got my dog, Lulu, here. Uh, a year and a half old dog who's got a lot of energy. Uh, she's like a golden retriever and chihuahua mix. So there's just a lot of like crazy energy going on with this girl. So whenever I'm on a stream, I got to go hand her off to my dog walker at some point. And we're getting close enough that I don't want to quite start the game and then like have to pause it and then hand Lulu off and all that good stuff. So um, chat, I want to know what were some of your very first memories of Batman Arkham City? Take me back to 10 years ago when you were playing it. Um, just so we can, like, get a little nostalgic before we start this and uh, have some fun here. I can't wait to see what they say. Barrett, I also want you to see what I bought yesterday. I know you saw it already, but I bought this at the local video game shop. Told the kid I could not not have it. And it was really cool, Barrett. Because I told him about our experience, right? I told him about what you and I have been doing, and he smiled so big. And then he <laughs> went on for about 20 minutes telling me how much he loves the series. I asked him questions of like, Hell which yeah. one's your favorite? What should I be looking forward to? So he went wild. But then I also went wild as well. Got some old school Xbox games, man. So I got Gladius. This is a game we've talked about on the X cast that was teased slash like possibly leaked to be coming to backwards compatibility. And then oh. another one that I don't know if you remember this one, Bear, because this is old school right here. I mean, I'm Circus not a, I'm not Maximus. an OG Xbox guy, so none of these are familiar to me. <laughs> Circus Maximus Chariot Wars, where you'd be on a chariot racing in a circle, beating e e each other senseless. Like it was like road rash meets chariot races. So I love this <laughs> one right here. This is a great one. And then I bought my favorite one. This is one I ask my NCAA, friends for Christmas every wow. single year because it has Tim Tebow, my favorite player on this. So I ask him every year to buy this for me, and so I just bought it myself. And, uh, yeah, I mean, come on. What a great poll right there. And I love going to retro shops because they're all, like, $5. And you know I'm God, not going to I miss, I miss like, know retro, know like, uh, spots right there. Like, there used to be one uh, over in the Sunset in San Francisco that I think eventually went away. Um, mm. I, yeah, I used to love going uh, to those places with uh, my buddy Ricky because we were, like, we were fucking broke. So we were just trying to find, like, any other, like, fucking, like, $10 games to play. Um, someone was asking, did Metal Gear Solid stream uh, complete or were we still waiting to uh, complete it after the run of sponsor streams? Uh, we did. We were actually able to finish Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, Snake Eater last week. So that stream is already up over on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Plays uh, over there. So, yes, we did complete Metal Gear Solid 3 last week. We will continue our Metal Gear Solid uh, series playthrough soon uh, with Metal Gear Solid 4. Um not this week because Mike and I are going to be hanging out all day, so I'm going to be uh, you know, I'm going to be a busy boy for the rest of the week off stream. Uh, but we will get to Metal Gear Solid Four as soon as we can. Um, let's see. Uh, isn't the Starro Easter egg in this game? I don't remember there being a Starro Easter egg. I'm sure once we get to Morical in here, he's going to have a fuck ton of uh, mm, a fuck ton of cool. like a little a little things that maybe I haven't even been able to uh, to find yet. So again, vote on the first side mission that you want us to get to uh, today. Uh, again, we're waiting to to actually start the game. A lot of Ezreal. A lot of Ez people really love an Ezreal. <laughs> I thought Bane would have taken that one away, but yeah, a lot of Ezreal leading. Ezreal was right an now. exciting side mission. We'll talk about more really? uh, okay. talk about it more as we get further on because I felt like Azrael was like a big setup for like the next game we didn't know at the oh, time okay. when the next game was going to happen what was going to be the main event for the next game but Azrael really was like the side mission to really hint towards of like what the next title in the series was going to be about so that'll be a fun one and that'll be a f that'll be a simple one to kind of do because all you really have to do is look out for him at four specific points in the game um so that'll be a fun uh one to do throughout the uh throughout the story because he'll pop up here and there and all that good stuff um star easter egg is an arkham knight batgirl dlc uh, Ooh, okay, i don't remember okay. the batgirl dlc is uh as well um i remember that wb montreal was the one who worked on that dlc though and i, I remember enjoying it but i don't replay that as often as like the main games all right it's official the first side mission will be Azrael. that'll be a fun one um Ooh, okay okay does the Azrael side mission lead to the Hush ones? I don't remember. They do not. Those are two separate side missions there. Um, going out here. So, Mike, I need to know what came into that uh, uh, into that bundle with the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Is it just the? Is it one, two, and three? Is it two, three? It Peace is Walker. Two, There's a three, bunch of Peace different Walker. Okay, okay. And the big selling point, Barrett, was the art book. Actually, so it comes with an art book for two, three, and. 
Peace Walker. And it's really, really cool to page through and see all the characters that we saw, right? It has Dead Cells. Or is it Dead Cells or Dead Sec? I think it's Dead Sec. No, it's, Dead Sec uh, is... Uh... Number two, who is the villain team that they call themselves? Dead Cell. It's Dead Cell. Dead yeah. Cell. Dead Sec is so, um, uh, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Yeah, there you yep, go. exactly. And so, yeah, they got Dead Cell, which is really, really cool to see. And then they have the Cobra units, which is mm. awesome to see because you and I are hot off of, you know, Metal Gear Solid 3. And I just love the artwork. I think that's one I wish I could get more, you know. I want to yeah. get more artwork of it all. So, very, very cool. But I do want to circle it back to Batman because I see a lot of people in the chat. A lot of people throwing out the Mr. Freeze fight. And mm. that was really cool. That's one I'll never forget is Mr. Freeze. Just so cool. I love the environment of Mr. Freeze, too. I like being cold and all that jazz. But, like, I do like that. I like that arena that they built. The, cool. That that specific fight might be a, kind of a, a main talk. One of the main talking points I have in the later uh, Arkham uh, City Arkham Files episode later today. Mm, which okay, okay. Um to kind of peel back the the curtains here a little bit, it's it's been wild, Mike. The last two weeks, um, having these uh, first two episodes come out uh, for the Arkham Files, because as some of y'all know, this was not like an original idea that I had with like uh, Zelda in review and Assassin's Creed in review, uh, where yeah. like I had like fully come up. I was like, hey, these are things like I want to do, and I like had a clear vision for like what I wanted them to be and all that stuff. Uh, the Arkham Files is actually something like Tim had suggested uh, originally in anticipation for. Gotham Knights, because we we originally thought that Gotham Knights was going to come out this year. Eventually, it got delayed. Uh, to no one's big surprise. Hold on. So yeah, he had asked me to. He, we were talking about doing these like a year ago. I think it was like October last year. He hit me up. He was like, "What's some What's something fun that we can do?" around possibly getting hyped for Gotham Knights and all this stuff, and we came up with this idea of making a short video essay uh, centered around each and every one of these games. And it was, like, wild to think about, like, technically production on these videos started back in last December, because, uh, like, over the winter break, I had took it, taken my time and replayed all of the games to capture all of the footage that I could possibly need uh, for oh. all four of these videos. So that's, that's, like, how I spent my winter break. Um, and then... Uh, which wasn't even really work. That's just like, all right, I, I always replay these games, so I might as well just uh, do it over the winter break and uh, kill two birds with one stone. And then I think it was shortly after Assassin's Creed and Review came out, which I think was January or maybe early February, uh, I finally started writing the scripts. And then those I had finished writing in, like, April. And then I shot everything and recorded, like, my VO and on-camera stuff all the way back in, like, May. So it's been, like, really weird to, like, finally, like, see, like, the finished product uh, coming from Roger. Ooh, and I'm like, oh, man, wild. like, my my room is completely different. My desk used to be over, like, uh, in, like <laughs> directly in front of the TV and all that stuff. Um, it's it, it, It's been really fun. And I'm excited for people to check out uh, the second episode of The Arkham Files later today. Because, honestly, like, Roger... Fantastic video editor, as always. I, I don't think I've ever been more confident on a script that I've ever written um, throughout my years. So I'm, I'm really excited for, for people to check it out. Oh, so exciting. That's so awesome to see it all come full circle like that. And uh, some great games you've chosen, too. You know that? You've chosen some really good ones there. Um... Anyone know where Mike got that nice PlayStation jacket? Yeah, I was going to ask. Uh, where where where'd you get these uh, dope, uh, almost uh, Nightwing type of threads from? <laughs> so this is the Tipsy Elves uh, PlayStation onesie for skiing and snowboarding. Oh. That was on sale through the PlayStation Store on their last year's winter collection. And actually, funny enough, Nick and Greg bought me this for Christmas. This Aww. is something that I really wanted to go skiing with. They heard that, and those two went out of their way and got for me a uh, Christmas present. So that's why I got it. But yeah, this was the Tipsy Elves Winter Collection that they did with PlayStation. If you went back last year, you would have saw that. It was their big thing. And they also did a snowboard too, Barrett, which was wild to see. They did they had a whole snowboard collection, which I loved. But uh, yeah, those two went out of their way and bought it. So thank you to Greg and Nick for doing that for me. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Uh, D Total, uh, Total Loser asks, Hey, Barrett, any thoughts on the PS Vita game set in Blackgate Prison? I never owned a PS Vita. Oh. So I never played, what was it, Arkham Origins Blackgate? I never played that one. Oh, I remember the name of that. Yeah, I had a, I had a Vita. I never played that one. You know, Barrett, I tried the GTA, like, offshoot ones, and I didn't like that. V Vice City Stories or... 
Wasn't Chinatown that like PSP? Wars? Like I thought those were yeah, PSP. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't way back like those. Day. I tried that recently. I was like, oh, that. Yeah, that's I never had a bad. PSP. Like my some of my friends, I remember having a PSP. I remember one friend of mine uh, in maybe late high school or maybe around like when I was starting college had a PS Vita, and like that was it. And I remember they play. They used to play a fighting game on it all the time. I forget which one it was. Um, Damn, Barrett must hate Batman since I didn't play Arkham Origins Blackgate. <laughs> uh, yeah, fake Batman fan right here. Um, yeah, I didn't play Arkham Origins Blackgate. I really loved Arkham Origins, though. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about why next week on the episode 3 of the Arkham Files. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3? No, it wasn't that on the Vita he would play. We played Marvel vs. Capcom 3 all the time on the Xbox 360, though, I believe. It was between that and uh, 2. We would always go back and forth between uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, speaking of PSP, Metal Gear Solid, Acid, and Acid 2 are next, right? If, we're, if any offshoot games are going to be happening, those are going to be on Blessing's end. Blessing will stream through those. I'm dedicated to... Let's see, what else do we have? Metal Gear Solid 4. 4. And then we're going to we take a little bit Peace of a Walker, break. What are we doing? Yeah, we're going to do Peace Walker, which I understand is okay. multiplayer, so we're going to try to get uh, squad up for, for Peace Walker. And then we're going to do Ground Zeroes, and then 5. And then that's it. And then maybe... Okay. Maybe have Blessing stream Metal Gear Solid Survive. Metal Gear Survive. Which I, from what I understand, a lot of people really love. Um, does Barrett have the platinum trophies for this series? Seems like uh, if any game he platinum, it would be this. I don't have the platinums for Arkham Asylum or Arkham City uh, or Arkham Origins. And that's purely because I think the challenge rooms, like the way they tied trophies to some of the like challenge stuff and like how that was all kind of organized, I think was really infuriating. So I never got the Platinums. I do have the Platinum in Arkham Knight though. That did take a while though, because uh, thankfully the challenge rooms, uh, the challenge room trophies uh, that like you had to get to get the Platinum were also tied to DLC. So even though I couldn't get enough stars on all of the base game uh, challenge rooms, I could I eventually was able to acquire enough uh, uh, stars uh, from the DLC packs to, to eventually get those uh, those trophies. Asylum challenge achievements were a bitch. Yeah, like yeah, and then there's all the Riddler challenge uh, rooms in Arkham City that I just never never wanted to do. So. Yeah, that was uh, that was never kind of in sight for me. And that, back then, when these games were coming out, I was a 360 kid, so I like it was fun when achievements popped up. But I wasn't like I was an achievement hunter, as some would, as some would call it, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> it's twelve. If we got a pause, I think we got a pause. I feel like we've got it up. We, man. Let's we, do we, it. Yeah, we've delayed it long enough. We've hung out. We've answered some questions. Of course, keep your questions coming. Uh, let's let's talk about Batman. Celebrate some Batman. So let's play some Arkham City. This I, I think will of course have the Catwoman stuff tied into it. And that was the fun thing is that like the first time I ever played uh, Arkham City, I don't think I had the Catwoman DLC, which was available. I think. Uh, on day one, but it, it was added DLC that I didn't play until like the game of the year edition came out. Um, so we're gonna do normal. We will have subtitles. Um, yeah, we'll we'll keep it all simple here. Oh God, just Mikey. The opening to this game is just so goddamn good. I look forward to seeing it again because it's been so long. I don't remember any of this. Don't touch it, man. He'll kill you. And Mikey, not only is it the 10 year anniversary of Batman Arkham City, How we're playing the Return to Arkham version, here. and it's the five year anniversary right, of Batman sort of Return to Arkham, the, the HD remasters of these Arkham games, which is City. fucking wild. Why would he come here? Wow. You guys just need to chill the hell out. It's Batman. Oh, he's here. It's Batman! What the hell? It's the cat! Oh, it's Catwoman! It's just a little. This is how the game started. You started as Catwoman. Oh really? yeah. Well, oh, again, man, that's if you. I don't remember this at all. That's wild. That's if you had the Catwoman DLC. Um, oh okay. Okay. Which at launch, probably not a lot of people got. Ah, I messed up that combo. Ooh. God damn. Now that they're all taken care of. It's time to get what I came for out of that safe. And right as we started, 
the dog walker is here, so I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, run away, dude. I'll hang out with everybody. Yo, what the heck is going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? How y'all looking? How y'all living today on this lovely Monday? It's so great to be back here working again on another Twitch live stream. Today, we get to have some fun. We're going to play some Batman. Mike, did you see the Batman trailer? I did see the Batman trailer. The reaction crew have held and not watched it. They will be recording that later to go up on YouTube. But of course, since I wasn't a part of that, I knew I would be streaming here with Barrett. So I did watch the Batman trailer and uh, I'm very excited about that. Of course, you put any Batman, any superhero, I get pretty pumped up. But I think uh, Rob Pattinson and the team is going to be kind of fun. It's going to be a good time. Oh, yo, what up, Flawlix? Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a great day at work. Any plans on encryption tomorrow? What's that? Tell me, Star Ox. I have no idea. Tomorrow, you'll get me, Nick, and Kevin. We're going to do fun clips. We're going to do, most likely, Operation Tango DLC together. So we'll see. I was planning on giving Nick and Andy the SATs, but... Our good friend Andy Cortez got a cool opportunity to go join a lot of incredible creators down in L.A. to watch Dune early and celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month through Twitch. So he got away from the test on me. So we'll do that next week, I promise. But uh, he did run away from me. I was going to try to go get him. Oh, Encryption is a horror roguelike card builder game. Whoa. I don't know. I'd have to take a look at that one. You should check out the new Demon Slayer video game. Okay, okay, okay. I saw Nanobile just broke his controller due to that game, so we'll see. We'll see. I wore my glasses on Saturday. I did wore my glasses on Saturday. I will tell you right now, youtube.com slash kind of funny plays. All of you have crushed it. We surpassed our 20,000 subscriber uh, goal, so thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. But kind of funny, Horror Nights Part 3 is up there right now. We played PT with Blessing. That was a ton of fun. Don't miss out on the good times. Mike, did you see that Tretro Xbox? Oh, the Retro. The Retro Xbox website. I did. They brought back the Blades, one of my favorite Xbox user faces uh, back in the day. So yeah, the Blades, that was a cool one. That was really, really cool. Should have answered the dog walker in the mask, bro. Oh. Sorry, I got up because I, I handed off Lulu and then I started hearing a lot of vicious dog barking. So something happened in the, the dog party car where, you know, people weren't, the dogs weren't feeling the vibes for some reason. I don't know if that Ooh. was Lulu's fault. I don't know what was going on, but I think they got it figured out. I was just scared because I was like, oh God, my tiny dog, what is happening? The excitement. All righty. Uh, I see we got some more um, gifted subs. Thank you all so much. Has anybody been uh, requesting any gadgets? Not that I can't yet, use? Barrett. We're all keeping right, an eye right. out on there. Remember, you can affect Barrett's gameplay. If you want to learn more, type in exclamation point Batman. You can affect Barrett's gameplay, and you can also affect this stream because we can bring on all of your favorite villains and some fun side missions. Don't tell Barrett. Don't tell Barrett. No, actually, don't tell Kevin, right, Barrett? But me and, oh, Barrett, me and Barrett set the bar to half off the whole entire time. So if you all want to continue to support, if you want more side missions, the bar is half off all day, except for maybe the final one. But <laughs> if you want to continue to support, we will have that bar half off all day long to fill it up and get some more side missions with me and Barrett having a good time. All right, here we go. Catwoman's after the safe for some reason. Try and get one over on me, will you, Hart? I don't think so. I'm drinking zero uh, sugar Pepsi, by the way, chat. Oh, I got that. So those guys were Two Faces goons because they had the Two Face costumes on. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I get God. it. Oh, and it transitions into the actual like beginning so perfectly. We have much to discuss. Strange. You won't get away with this. Hello, oh, that old ass oh, SD card. <laughs> Vicky Vale reporting live. Vicky Vale, yup. Yeah, yeah. prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. In a few moments, Bruce Wayne will be live on stage to explain his sudden interest in Gotham politics. The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one it's to billionaire, Vicky. Oh. Billionaire so last year. Billionaire, bro. Oh, it's so good. Kevin Conroy, man. 
the best Bruce Wayne. I assume that you thought yourself untouchable. Well, as you can see. Dr. Hugo are. Strange, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, Thank yep, you. now I remember. it's Thank all you, coming God. back to me, yep. In prison behind these walls, gang leaders are fighting a bloody war in the middle of our once great city. Every inmate from Arkham Asylum and Blackgate Prison has been relocated to this facility. How can this be safe for the people of Gotham? Shut Arkham City down. It's out of control. Shut it down. By the end of tonight, I will be a hero. Just like you. Batman. Oh, that's such a good Today, fucking I'm moment. Where you're like, oh, he knows. He knows that Bruce is Batman. Oh, shit. And that's been a thing from the comics as well. Of, uh, Hugo Strange being able to, do, to deduce uh, who Batman is. Oh. Gun right to the face. I feel I should thank you. Capturing Bruce Wayne is so much easier than Batman. And now that we have you, Protocol 10 is ready to begin. It will be my legacy, a monument to your failure. And if you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. No, I messed it up. I messed it up. Then lean with it. Rock with it. Oh, there you go. What the hell are you doing? You think we wouldn't hear you? Help me! You have been separated from the good people. Help! By choosing the actions that resulted in you being sent here, you have been... Welcome to Arkham City. What are you doing? Kill your butler. You're gonna die in here. You're gonna be my bitch, Wayne. You're mine. On the ground. Now. Ah! Oh. What are you waiting for, Wayne? Why name? Move. So here we go, getting introduced to Arkham City. We have uh, Black Mask over here. Oh, wow. Cool Fighting off. Right try, trying to not go back in. Because I think... Uh, I think in like the lore that you figure out later on that Black Mask like actually escaped or something and then they brought him back. I hear penguins put a price on you. I'm cashing you I also love that they stuck with like the the normal um, or the usual like voice actors for all of like the prisoners and stuff. Like they're in all three games and I just I love them. Oh, that's cool. Bruce Wayne, you're on my list. I said break up. A little foreshadowing there. <laughs> Move up, prisoner. Lower your weapons. Mr. Wayne will not be any trouble. Will you, Mr. Wayne? Damn. The cuffs can stay on. We don't want to make things too easy, do we? Close the doors. Prepare for insertion. I can't believe I'm gonna die here. Bruce Wayne? Great. There I was reporting on your crummy press conference, and now here we both are. I guess that'll teach you to get involved in politics. This was also a cool moment, because like, you hear Jack Ryder on the radio in the first game, and this is like little moments like this where I never would have expected us to actually like meet Jack Ryder throughout the series and stuff like that. Some guy who's never even been in a fight? Stay calm. They're trying to scare us. Sorry, man. It's every man for himself. Oh. Wait, help me. I don't want to help this Cerrone, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Nah, sometimes like, he was just talking shit to us. Like, you've never been in a fight. He immediately goes down in one punch, you know? get up. Look who it is. Welcome to him. Oh! Nighty night. 
Not looking well for Bruce, you know what I'm saying? Not a great start. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Wayne. Oh, what's up? Do you need me to call your butler? Cobblepot. Oh, you remember me. I'm touched. Your family destroyed my way. This, well, let's just call this good old-fashioned revenge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him get a, a lick or two in here, just to not make it seem like you know, I'm some sort of vigilante who knows how to fight. You know, just gotta make it seem like I got, you know, lucky here. Oh, it's wild that that is Nolan North, by the way. That's Penguin? Oh, yeah. Wow, that is cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, I love it. Again, this whole intro sequence is so good. And then breaking off the chains because you feel so constricted of just, like, having to, like, kind of, like, kind of strike. And then you get kind of the classic feel of the Arkham Asylum flow here. But without the bad suit, you definitely feel like, all right, I'm a little slower than I want to be. I'm feeling a little... Not super, uh, not super strong here, but just strong and enough. Slow mo finish, God, always slow mo finish. And of course, I can't contact Alfred from down here. I need to get higher. We're gonna knock Penguin out too, just so he doesn't see where we're going. And that was a cool, even just like that one liner. It's like, oh, I gotta ca uh, contact Alfred. It's like, fuck, Alfred wasn't even in the first game. So like, I can't believe like we're getting so much like kind of piled on at just the very beginning of this game. Alfred, have you got my location? I like seeing the Twitch chat bear because we have Arcane right. I need an immediate drop on the roof Mike, of the Ace Chemical you missed building. Ezreal. I'm on my way there If Barrett looked up before he got hit with the pipe, you can see him up on the rooftop. That's oh, pretty cool. Oh, I, did, that's I cool. never even knew that. Interesting. Yeah, that's awesome. We'll see, we'll see him very shortly I since that was uh, one of the side missions here. That's the guy that looks looks like a knight, but he has like the hood on, right? He's yeah. like Although that kind of guy. Okay, yep, I remember him. Strange. And how was that? Not good. He knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. He also told me that something called Protocol Ten will make him famous. I can't leave Arkham City until I find out what it is. So we got two, uh, one main objective: stop Hugo Strange and figure out what Protocol Ten is. That's our mission tonight, Mike. That's the if you mission, choose to God. accept it. And then look at that, bro. Let me just hit you with this. Here's your supply drop. I know, dude. The fucking bat wing coming in right off the bat. And then this this moment right here. There we go. There's our Bat Boy right there, everybody. Slightly updated suit. Oh, that's Absolutely funny. I have, out of his I have achievement notifications turned off on my Xbox, like but they're still popping up on my Pop PC. Up on the PC, yep. I have that as well, <laughs> yep. I know that too well. Yeah, for uh, to answer that, this is on the... Uh, I'm playing this on the Series S. I was debating on playing the PC version, but... With, like, streaming to Twitch, streaming to Mike, having my camera on, I felt like that might have been a little too much for my PC to handle. That prisoner 4011 is in the courthouse. I repeat, Catwoman is in the courthouse. Barrett, what would you say is the definitive way to play Arkham City, return to Arkham on console, or maxed out original Arkham City on PC? I would say the PC route, especially because you can play it at, like, 60 frames per second. In my case, 1440p. It's great. Understood. That but for the purpose of this good. intro, we I chose to no, play on the series S. Mr. Dent's predilection for all things binary may not bode well for Miss Kyle. If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. I need to find Catwoman now. Where is this first kind of encounter? Just to have a little bit of fun here to start it off. Instead of going after Catwoman right away, we're gonna save our boy Jack Ryder, even though he's again. I know, oh dude. He's God. immediately just been taken out over and over again. 
Well, he was left in the city full of inmates. You knew he wasn't gonna last long. Right. I remember like the first kind of like gameplay showcase of this game and it showed us of like, hey, like you can either go after and save Catwoman now or you could like go uh, help out uh, Jack Ryder um, or go out like go to like other side mission stuff. And I remember like watching that for the first time just thinking of like, whoa, this game is gonna be so big. Especially compared to Asylum. It was just like, God damn, this is so cool. So this came out in 2011, October 2011. That's crazy that this came out, and then you know what else came out? One of the best games ever made, Skyrim, came out as well. That's crazy. This a month later, insane. right? In November. That's crazy, Man, bro. Yeah, that's Wayne wild. In here earlier. Poor guy's probably dead by now. Also, roughly uh, 10 years ago was the beginning of the, the New 52 reporter. run for Batman yeah. by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. No. With stories like, uh, it started out with the Court of Owls, so around this time, like, Court of Owls was having its first original run in the I mean, comics, which is fucking you. wild. Does this seem like a good idea to you? <laughs> also, I love that little, uh, find that out. little thing, that little, uh, line, line from Jack Ryder, he's like, ah, oh, man, Bruce Wayne must be dead in here by now. Just like, technique. what a fucking yeah, jabroni, man. I did some man. digging and found a guy who claimed it, Strange caused his breakdown. Seems that after the professor cured him, he couldn't even remember his name. I wasn't so sure, but I saw some poor guy get dragged off when I was being processed. Strange was picking his victims personally. Arkham City is a dangerous place. I suggest you keep a low profile. You may have a point. I'll lay low, see what's going on down here. Also just realized I took that big sip right into my microphone. I apologize. Um, all right. Jack Ryder's gonna be our man on the streets. Will we ever see him again through, through this playthrough? Maybe for a quick second, you never know. Oh, yeah. really? Okay, okay. For a very brief second, possibly. Depending on if we do a certain side mission or not. Um, all right, so let's go save Catwoman, who's be, who has been captured by Two-Face over this weird, very old SD card. Hell yeah, it is. That was also the other cool thing of like you could start this fight off with like four people and then if enough people notice it right, just like it feels so big and so fluid and natural of like not everybody realizes that the fight has started and it's just so goddamn fun. Something that I'm surprised that didn't happen, usually in this first fight, you know, uh, Hugo Strange will have helicopters kind of flying around with all of his uh, buddies. Oh, there it is, right on time. Batman in sight. They'll always, like, kind of keep tabs on you throughout the game. Oh, okay. And they'll, okay, like, com cool. they'll, they'll comment on your fight and stuff, like, all men down and stuff like that. And, like, Batman's still going. Troy Baker as uh, Two-Face here, everybody. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Be here. That's how we get respect. Ah, oh, he's so good as Two-Face. We, we should be fair, though. This is a place of justice, after all. Screw justice. Kill her, and they'll all fear us. Bring out the defendant. <laughs> You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, Harv. Yeah. Hey, have you had some work done? That's for stealing from us. No one steals from us. Oh, I'm sorry I've been a bad kitty. Untie me. Barrett, do you ever see Jim Carrey coming back to reprise Riddler in future movies? 100% no. Yeah, Absolutely that would be no. so much fun, but no. No. This new guy's gonna be really good, right, Barrett? In oh, movie, yeah. This um, be a good Riddler. Shit. What's his name? I fan casted him as a Riddler like six years ago, and the fact that he actually got cast, I was like, holy shit. Paul Dano. Yeah. He's from, um. Not Eternal Sunshine, this spot. Uh, Little Miss Sunshine. He's the older brother in Little Miss Sunshine. He's great in that movie. 
God, he's got a gun. Taking out the thug with the gun is the key. Without him, the rest of the room won't be a problem. Yeah, think about how difficult that would have been if I went into that fight. Not checking Today my surroundings, Mikey. Not checking. The best part about this whole thing. Two opportunities. <laughs> nah, two. Get it. To join with us to create a new force in Arkham. Now oh, we got to level up here already. So yeah, then we got the the new upgrade system here. I uh, replayed Arkham Asylum a couple of weeks ago just to get my get get into the right mindset, you know, for the, uh, replaying this game. And I do miss the uh, OG Arkham Asylum menus and UI a little more comic booky, a little more stylistic and stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think of what to upgrade first here, though, Mikey. You know what I'm saying? If we could do critical strikes. I'm not gonna upgrade Catwoman. We're, we're only going to play as her for like a total of 30 minutes. Um, well, since we're about to get into another combat session here, well, let's uh, upgrade some combat armor here. And take this place for ourselves. Screw you, two Our friend Batman has arrived. I love how many people, like, it's so daunting to see. I think it's like if you turn on a detective vision, it's like 40 people in that room. Oh, and, and then they because you, yeah, away. they all like dip out because they're like, oh, I'm not trying to fight Batman right now. Which is funny because if it was 40 people in here, I feel like they could probably overtake him, right? Oh shit! It's like the little things that were upgraded from Asylum, like being able to throw things back at people, like yeah. that chair. Objection! Oh, overruled. Heads or tails, kitty cat. Which one lets me out of here alive? Not this one. Time to die. I vote for a stay of execution. Ah! No gun harm? Shame. This is gonna hurt. Two guns, bitch! There it is also in New Game Plus because of the instant takedowns. No, I'm. This is, uh. And I thought it was cats who had nine called? lives. This is a new save, completely new. How's it hanging, Harv? Combat takedowns were unlocked straight away, I believe. But they were they start out at the the eight multiplier, not the five. I still have to upgrade that. that <clears throat> I think you can. The only game where you have to unlock the combat takedown is Arkham Asylum. You're right. I think I chipped a nail back there. Funny. So what do you need, Mr. Detective? Protocol Ten. What do you know, Selena? Never heard of it. That's not what I wanted to hear. What about Strange? I don't trust him. He's been missing for years, and then is suddenly put in charge of running Arkham City. Rumor has it he's been working with Joker, planning something very special just for you. Maybe that's Protocol 10. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Watch me kill your favorite cat. <laughs> the boy Mark Hamill. The ex-district attorney here has said something <laughs> What the hell? This place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? It was Joker. You're not safe here. No one is. Nine lives, remember? Nah. I loved the inclusion of Catwoman in this one. It just like, off the bat, you could feel like they were having a little more fun, not as serious as Arkham Asylum, you know, or as Arkham As Asylum. Aside from some like funny Riddler lines every once in a while, it's like Cut very like down. very like oh Fight shit, like, like this is man. really intense. Oh, you should have finished me, Batman. We'll get out of this and we'll be back. Do I look scared, Harvey? You should. Fate is all that stands in our way. And if the coin says that your time is up. Then you'll die. Alright, whatever you say, buddy. 
and we're gonna go into the. I need to scan oh. the crime scene oh, right. for ballistic evidence. I can use it to show me where the bullet was fired from. I forgot someone just tried to kill Selena. The bullet hit the floor here. Now, where did it enter the room? The trajectory the bullet traveled will lead me to the shooter. DC Fandom Movie Reacts will be up on YouTube later this afternoon, everybody uh, wondering. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got some Joker goons hanging out. Yeah, I love the different goons. That's dope. Yeah, I, I, that's another little thing um, that I love with this. Is like there, there's different gangs and stuff like that as well. It's, it's not just all of. Will commence in ten hours. Ten hours until Protocol Ten. Um, Thirty days has November. Let me check out uh, this little Easter egg here. Of twenty-eight is but one. All the rest are thirty-one. Of course, leap year comes. And slays every four years got it right and 28 is 29 got the calendar man hanging out there calendar one of the, man okay yeah. that's cool one of the achievements is uh visiting him on every major holiday throughout the year um and one of the ways to and like of course playing on 360 or ps3 there's like the internal clock right uh so you could actually like wait throughout the year turn turn on the game and uh do all of that um there's a, you know, you could also mess with your internal clock on the 360 as well. Good. You can just like change the date on your on your console and, and check in with him there. Sorry, I lost track. Let's hope it doesn't get us killed. We just need to be careful. Jeez. What the hell? You're the last person I expected to see in here. What did you do? You don't want to know. Who are you? Who was I? You mean? In here, you're nothing. Out there. I worked at the company handling security for this place. Yeah, me too. Don't tell me. You were sent here by Strange. Yeah, that evil son of a bitch. What the hell did I do wrong? You obviously know something you shouldn't. Try to figure out what that is and stay out of sight. <laughs> Joe Medfor says, Mike, I felt that yawn in my soul. Oh, man. You know what? It's Monday, but, like, the main part is, like, I'm just happy to be back playing this game with you, Barrett. It's, uh... It's a trip down memory lane after 10 years, so I'm trying to listen to all the cutscenes and watch everything. Because somebody wrote in the chat, hey, is this story any good? And I'm like, man, I don't remember it, but I, I any Batman game is pretty good to me, so we'll find out. Oh, who's this man There's right here? There's our guy right there. There's our guy right there. There's a back. No. Uh, yeah. I love the... Um... I love this conversation happening down here where they're like, Batman's in there, he's got two faces. It's like, yeah, we're going to secure the front door. But what about the back door? There's a back? I love the dialogue between all of the uh, the inmates throughout this game. It's so goddamn funny. He played catch with us. Dang, he caught and that's it, bro. Another, that's, wild. that's another uh, trophy or achievement right there. Excuse me. I have been watching you, Batman, to see if you are ready. All right, that's one of uh, that's one of the symbols. Three left to go. We'll find him throughout the game. Um, all right, we gotta go find where that sniper bullet came from. Now, is this what they added where you would zip line over and then like hold it and he'd shoot off of it, or is that not in this? Shoot off of it. Um, yes, we will. We will get to that at some point. That's an okay, okay. that we gotta. And that's technically a side mission, but I was planning on doing that anyway, just because it's. Okay. It'll help out with time. Thank you, y'all. See you out there, Twitch chat. Yeah, that's the grapple upgrade. That's all I can see. Ooh. It just feels so good to do it all in one combo. Yeah, it rocks. It looks like Harley Quinn is inside. That dreadful woman is no doubt setting a trap for you. Don't worry, Alfred. Quinn never was too smart. I'll be okay. 
It's kind of shitty of Batman to say she never was too smart. Like, bro, she was a doctor at some point. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. You could let her kick you, too, I think. Or these people all get a bullet in their heads. I think you should do what he says. It would be a shame to get blood all over my nice new outfit. What do you think, Batbrain? Like it? What am I saying? Of course you do. Who wouldn't? Now, yeah, chat was saying earlier, this is Tara Strong, not, uh, no longer the original this Harley from really the animated series who right voiced uh, Harley in not Arkham Asylum. Himself. Okay. Well, was a chat? Was correct me if I'm wrong. This is no Tara Strong's either. first Harley appearance ever, right? This was her debut. From here didn't help. I've seen more smarts from these bozos. I've got a run. Boys. saying correct. If he tries anything funny, kill him. Yeah, this felt more on brand for Harley than the her outfit in the first one. But they they were, they were definitely going for something with the whole like suicide. doctor thing. I need to disappear. Pick them off silently one by one. Don't you move, Batman. Just stay there and this will all end okay. What do you mean end okay? She left us alone with Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that they know that they're fucked. Good. Let's keep it that way. Time to survey the room. Plan out my tactics. Four thugs, all armed, two hostages. Oh, this what a cool moment easy. this is. So we dope. Need to get out of here. He's gonna get us. Batman, can you hear me? Try and get us, and these people die. That won't stop him. You're safe. Stay quiet. I love this one too. Choke him with my thick thighs, baby. That's dope. <laughs> You'll be okay. Wait here and don't make a noise. Leave now. The bitch has a hole where her head used to be. Yeah, leave us alone. Oh, Baird, that was perfect. That's right. As tears the room chat says, that was You're perfect, y'all. Yo, Batman. Thanks for the help. Got the return of Aaron Cash, one of the guards from Arkham Asylum as well. I think it's like the lore sense. Uh, he decided to quit um, his job at Arkham Asylum shortly after the events of that game and like became like kind of a more security uh, team up with uh, with Gordon, I believe. Or he might be a part of the GCPD, I forget. Okay, people, listen up. We're in control here, not these animals. I want this place locked down tight. All medical staff check supplies. Find out if anything was taken. And we've got the um, gunshot came from the bell tower. I need to find a way out. I don't know there. if any of you just noticed, but Batman just saved our asses. If anyone can find her, he'll do it. Okay, does everyone understand? Look after the wounded, keep the bad guys out. We're a team. Let's keep it that way. William North um, is also uh, one of the guards from Arkham Asylum. He has a quick moment or two throughout that game. Uh, all right. So we got to find the uh, the shot that came from the bell tower. We're going to grab this. Uh... Oh, wait. No, wait. Hold on. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm getting thrown up. I'm so used to like the quick buttons being the quick action buttons being the ones from Arkham Asylum, but they change them to this one. You will regret trying to outsmart me. You will solve my riddles and you will collect my trophies. You may not want to, but you must. It's a matter of life and death. We're only going to collect the trophies we want to, Riddler. We got we ain't got no time for your fucking shenanigans today. Yeah, that was a lot. I will never forget how much fun it was to see so many across the map. 440 think, like, oh, Riddler trophies and puzzles oh, throughout man. this game, Like It's ridiculous. People complain about the Arkham Knight trophy, uh, Riddler trophies. I think Cities is much worse. There's the gun. It looks like it's being controlled remotely by Joker. And a whole lot of explosives. A remote control gun, man. What will well, they think of look next? Who it is. I haven't seen you for how long has it been? Let's see. 
Yeah, but Arkham Knight had lame, the lame car missions. I, th I thought those were fine. I think there's worse, worse moments with the, the Batmobile. Oh dang, it's a hype train. The hype train has engaged at 69% too. I love that. Don't forget, with your support through follows, through subs, through gifted subs, you can affect today's stream. We can add on some cool side missions with some of your favorite villains to add on to the fun story. If you fill up the bar, each and every time we fill up the bar, we will add another side mission to the list. We've already got one. We have seven possible today. So don't forget that your support would mean the world to us and allow us to keep it going with some fun side missions on the side. And on top of that, you can affect the gameplay. If you give five subs, you let me know what gadget you don't want Bear to use on the next encounter. I will make sure he does not use that gadget. Just let me know. Bang. Blew up a church, bro. I've got a lock on the signal used to remotely control the sniper rifle. Joker's behind this. Was there ever any doubt? The radio signal should lead me right to him. Good luck, sir. It tells me Batman doesn't do small talk. I don't know. Yes, and then Maybe getting the flow and the rhythm of gliding around the city was yeah, some we, of the best. Yeah, we need to get the grapple uh, hook upgrade, though. And that's, yes. what, that's what we're going to go do right now on our way to go find Joker. Just because it's a, it, it feels wrong to not be able to have it. Yeah, it, that's what I was getting at. It's like it just doesn't look right because you're so used to just shooting off the side of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the AR training. So, yeah, that the first one's over here. And then this side mission that just popped up is the beginning of the Bane side mission. So if we ever, if chat ever votes for, for Bane as one of our side missions to do, we'll do that. I hope they do, because I like Bane a lot. He's fun. He's terrifying in Batman Arkham Origins, I'll tell you. Oh, God. How did he not notice me coming up here? Just staring off into space, bro. <laughs> It's like Gary Whitta, miles away, just not thinking about anything. No, not, no not worries. This. He's got a baby now. <laughs> we shoot every sorry ass loser that comes this way. Okay. Wait a second. Doesn't Joker's PA say he takes anyone? We do. Today, however, we shoot him. Yesterday, we took him in the back room and burned off their skin. Jesus Christ. Again, the the. The random goon conversations give so much insight that it's just mm. fascinating. Like, they're talking about, like, the PA system where Joker's like, oh, anybody can join, but they, they talk about, because classic Joker, right? They're just like, oh, yeah, sometime, sometimes he tells us uh, to shoot him instead or torture him. It's just like, Jesus Christ. Why would anyone work for this man, you know? Mike, do your best Bane voice. Yeah, let's see. Let's get a Bane voice from Snowbike Mike right now. I'm Bane. I don't know what's his voice sound like. I have no idea. Not it's not like so the Dark Knight long. Rises. Like, oh hello there. Oh yeah, dude, I forgot about that. Oh my god, I haven't watched those movies in so long. I've totally forgotten about that. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> uh, all right, the third one is up here, I believe. Being like this, you know, when you were a kid. Nah, every year is a little cold. I was born in the snow. <laughs> you merely adopted the snow. I was born in it, molded by it. Oh man, I have to watch those movies again. That was a long. Yeah, time Mike. Ago. I was gonna, someone in the chat asked, like, what are y'all's uh, favorite Batman movies? So, uh, what what comes off the the top Batman of the Batman and Robin? Because Robin was there, and I love Robin. <laughs> It was just because Robin was there, strictly because Robin was there, nothing else. Was that the was that the one with Jim Carrey and um, as I the Riddler so. and uh, yeah. oh, who yeah, played, Tommy, who played, yeah, Tommy, Tommy Lee Jones, Jones as two face, two -face. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry, Mike. Let me tell you. I was telling Tim at the beginning of the day, like I'm terrible whenever I'm on stream of like actually eating lunch. Yeah, so at some point soon. I originally had it in my head of like right after I uh, handed off Lulu, I would do it, but because of like timing and everything, I, did, I forgot. Some point soon, I'm gonna order some lunch, and I'm trying to decide what's for lunch today, Mike. You know. You know what? I'm gonna order two. I'm gonna order 
crispy chicken tacos from Chipotle. Wow. And then right. I'm going to get two quesadillas, one for me, one for my mom, who is visiting and hanging oh, out. Oh, mom's First in town. chat viewer, McGee. McGee, what the heck? Thank you for the 100 biddies right there. And thanks for hanging out with us and celebrating the 10-year anniversary. The bat wings, huh? Did I forget to pack something? No, Alfred. I think I need the grapnel boost. There we go. But Mr. Fox told you it's not yet ready for need the field boost. deployment. Give me that and boost. And did they have like Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy in training. one of those movies I'm too, ready. I thought? I, I could like, be was wrong, that, that was forever, like that was right? That was Batman Forever, I thought. Okay. Or is Batman Forever first and then it's Batman and Robin? And then, yes, I remember Mr. Freeze. So yeah, th those are my favorite ones. Was yeah, that remember Arnold right Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. What a uh -huh. weird casting choice. Time for you to chill out. What is this stuff anyway? All right, here we go. Now, since we're up here, I'll, I'll show one of the the Riddler things here. I don't know if I'm allowed to do it yet, since we haven't talked to him. We're allowed to collect trophies, but I don't know if I'm allowed to solve riddles. But this is a riddle right here with the uh, the Scarecrow mask from Arkham Asylum. I was gonna say that's the Scarecrow mask. Okay. Oh yeah. There's more AR training to do. I forget if the rest of the AR training throughout the map actually gets you anything. Okay. I think it's definitely a trophy. There, uh, There's like two of them that are super fucking hard. So there we go. Now we got the grapnel boost. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it is right. So yeah. And it gets even more OP in Arkham Knight. It's ridiculous like how high up. Like you can even start like elevating yourself in like ways that definitely defy science in every way, shape, or form. But it's so goddamn fun. The best. All right, now it's time to go after the Joker here. We're we're making our way. We're getting closer. Alfred. I need to find a route into the Sionis steel mill. Have you tried the front door, sir? Why didn't I think of that? It was obviously too easy. Let's see, if all the other access routes are locked down, the only way in would be... No, it's suicide. The main chimney. Okay, then. God, I love this. Someone asked Bear, are you for or against the bat meal in Arkham Knight? I think it's a very complicated conversation. In some situations, I am very much for it. In others, I'm not. Okay. Maybe I'll talk about it on episode four of the Arkham Files. Oh my god! Maybe he'll talk about it. Which that will premiere on October 31st, Halloween, which is the day that Arkham Knight takes place. Alright, this is how we decided to sneak in here, which is just so badass. Through the main chimney, we've got lava hat like whatever the like all this lava going on over here i don't know what the hell's going on here man steam from the furnace will boil me alive i need to cool bear are you excited for the new abrams tim cartoon coming to hbo um i have my expectations definitely tempered i'm gonna that's all i'll say I don't know how he's just not already burning alive right now. Literally feet above all of that, you know? It's the suit. It's the suit. It's the suit, Oh, man. look at that. The gel explosive, yup. Always oh, in the bat wing, too. It's the coolest. I love that bat logo. And he doesn't need to do that, too. It's not like anybody else sees no. it. He's like, I'm doing this for myself, you know? Oh, you found a little Riddler trophy? That's oh, dope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Joker wants you to think he's sick. Then wham, gotcha. I don't know, man. He looks pretty sick. I promised you some entertainment, right, boys? Uh oh. Please, I did my One best. of the doctors from the church. Well, you should have tried harder. Kevlar is flame resistant, so like, sure, molten metal exhaust would be tempered, I guess. <laughs> you know what that means. Uh oh. You can't let her be killed. Uh oh. I got turned around. Help me! 
Oh, that is a big boy. Big boy oh, with yeah, a big hammer. Take her to the smelting chamber. Mr. J wants this one to suffer a little longer. You got the Bat Varia suit. Is that a Metroid reference, I think? Mike, are you going to start Metroid Dread? No, I'm not. Oh, I know man. better. I buy I all those I buy all those Nintendo games and then never play them. I'm just not going to do it. This is a cool conversation that's about to happen right here, too, with the, these thugs. I'll try to listen in before we take them down. Who was Harley talking? Like she's declared war on Freeze. Yeah. Little she tease of Mr. Freeze there. Yeah. How should I know? She's always freaking out these days. Joker really must be sick after all. I guess. I always figured he'd last forever. Know what I mean? Maybe it's got something to do with all that crap back at Arkham Island. You saw what happened, right? Only what was on the TV. Arkham Island. He was like some kind of freaking monster. He was. He was huge. I thought he was gonna start ripping choppers out of the air. And then next time we see him, he's all normal looking. Yeah, normal. Like he ever looks normal. Okay, whatever. He looked like the Joker. Yeah, <laughs> it was weird. I don't buy it. This is all part of Joker's plan. It must be. He's gonna be fine. He's just screwing with the bat. It's the bat. Which gang would you join? Who would you align with? In this gang war, so who we got? the main players are like Joker, Joker. Two Face, yeah, Penguin. Penguin, yeah, and I think those are the major players there. I'm trying to think of who else. Mr. Freeze doesn't have henchmen. Nah, he he's a solo guy. He's because okay. he's a more complicated villain, right? He's not doing it for dastardly schemes like uh, taking over, like taking control over the city, right? He's he's a family man, you know? Gonna rip you apart. I feel like maybe Penguin, because the, like, the Penguin guys are technically all mercenaries, right? So it's like, I'm being, I'm being paid well to like defend this dude. Okay, okay. And I feel like he's a little less chaotic than Joker and Two-Face, right? Yeah, uh, Pespy in the, the in the chat says says it again? right. Penguin goons making bang. Supposed to be dead. Well, there's no way you're getting to Mr. J. We're safe and sound up here. You can just stay down there and burn. Damn, feels bad, man. Uh, doesn't Bane have people? No more. And technically, by the time Arkham City starts, if we're talking just like in the timeline of Arkham City, no. In Arkham Origins, though, he did he did have a crew of people. Um. Do we want to upgrade the bat suit? Bat claw disarm. Let's go. Let's go. Critical strikes. Those will help with. Uh, those will help with combat for sure. Alfred, Joker's holed up in the manager's office in the steel mill. I'm sure you'll find a way, sir. Of course I will. Some of his goons dragged the doctor away. I'm going to find her first, then deal with Joker. Oh, what's going on there? Some conversations going on between Harley and Jay there. A little foreshadowing, maybe. That's nice. And this was also something very helpful of uh, scanning trophies that you can't get to quite yet uh, for for later, since there's so many of them um, throughout this game. Will you be reviewing Arkham Origins? Uh, again, the Arkham Files I don't really consider as reviews, but uh, there will be an Arkham Origins episode on uh, for the Arkham Files next week. Ooh. Is Arkham Origins worth playing? I believe so. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Better make sure he don't come too close then. Easier said than done, man. You've never seen him in action. Was the Arkham Origins really that different that people were that apprehensive? Like, didn't it feel and play almost the exact same as the other ones? It was it was different from it was the different developer, right? It was WB yeah. Montreal. I would say the the main with, with 
like, and these might be things that uh, we we bring up in uh, next week's episode, Ooh. is that like. I think the attention to detail wasn't as good as the Rocksteady games. Like, I think just, like, the the city itself was a little uninteresting. And I think while the gameplay, like, the combat felt almost one-to-one, it didn't feel quite as tight. Um, okay. I, I felt like there okay. was, so, like, always, like, some input differences that felt, like, a little a little weird uh, comparing Origins to City in that perspective of, like, not having full mastery of it like I did in, in City. But I would still say it's, like, a... It's a it's a great game that I think a lot of people shrugged off because it wasn't a rock city game, right? So Okay, okay, okay. Also one of those goons right there was just talking about waiting for the Joker to die so he can start dating Harley. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of the Joker goons right there hoping for their shot. Really? Do you think a lot of them are thirsting after Harley? Yeah. Totally, oh. totally. You think that's the main draw? They're like Harley that's why Quinn, I, Poison Ivy. Mm, you know, I'm signing mm. up for that. All right. So after this stealth encounter, we're gonna take a quick uh, uh, restroom break, and then when I come back, chat, don't let me forget to order myself some food. Did you hear the noise that last doctor was making? I like it when they scream like that. <laughs> me too. She was one of the loud ones. <laughs> I'm going to try to do, to do this with both. I know I used detective vision at the beginning, but I'm trying to, I'm going to try to do no purchase and no detective vision. So I don't know. Ooh, okay. I don't know okay. where either of these guys, because who was it who gifted out 50 at the very beginning? I know they gifted they out 50, up. um, before we, we, uh, set up those, uh, those rules for the sub gifting. So I feel like I, I owe something, you know, hop right now. Okay. 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 All, right, all right. All right. All right. All right. The music is incredible. Damn, dude. All right, here we go. <clears throat> now, I think... Yeah, there's two dudes in that room trying to torture that doctor. And only one of them is going to come out? And the other guy is going to stick around. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? And then we got the guy creepily laughing, thinking of what he's gonna do to this doctor. Just tell us how to fix the joke. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Where are you going, Barrett? Where are you going? Control Batman. Be the bat. Where's this guy gonna go, Mike? He's taking way too goddamn long he's to make up his he's mind. He's taking his time over there. He's just going back and forth. He's got about oh god, oh god. Radius. Oh wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's looking down there. We can stop anytime you like, Doc. Just tell us how to fix Jay. All right, which way is he gonna go? Which way is he gonna go? Yeah, he's gonna go this way. Silly man. Oh, for the love of Mr. J! <sighs> Mr. J! Damn. Oh, yes, all the greats, right? I love that. All yeah. perfectly sized for Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this all night, bitch. Now we got the bat shell on a breakable wall right above the, uh, the Joker goon and the tortured doctor. Will this knock out both of them? No, she she is not. safe. She is safe. <laughs> Bunch of concrete falling all over. Don't worry. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Can you stand? Give me a second. What's wrong with these people? That oh, crazy big boss woman thinks I best. can fix the Joker. What's wrong with him? There's something in his blood. Some kind of toxin. It's killing him. He blames something called Titan. Ah, from Titan. the first game. Yeah. Do you know what he's talking about? He kept going on about his last laugh. Ah, uh, uh, Doc. Isn't that information supposed to be confidential? 
Alicia. What's happening? How does she know what we are saying? Get that door sealed up nice and tight, boys. We don't want that Damn. escaping, do we? At least they were locked in. in. We're safe, right? Game over. Wait here, Doctor. What the hell are you doing? I need to get out of here. Someone needs to stop Joker. I love that, it, just the explanation of this uh, REC gun that he has. Is he grabbed some electricity and it was like, I'm gonna make a gun out of this. It's yeah. fucking ridiculous. Uh, one of the lines that I think we eventually uh, cut in the final version of the Arkham Files is that um, I always kind of equate the relationship between Arkham City and Arkham Asylum to the relationship uh, that Terminator 2 and Terminator 1 have. Where, like, the sequel is kind of, like, the bigger more like action focused like kind of fun sequel that doesn't mm -hmm. forget like what the original was which was like more of like this smaller tighter uh kind of like thriller kind of experience and uh, yeah that's like it's moments like that that always make me think of that of, like batman just grabbing some electricity from an electricity thing and now he's got an electricity gun because fuck it <laughs> <laughs> um all right i'm gonna take a quick break i gotta go to the restroom take a break. uh we'll be right back or i'll be right back and uh i'll order some food what is it, what uh, will perfect. it be i don't know so i don't know i like that push that that gives me time to hang out with all of you we're gonna stretch for a moment we're doing a lot of sitting a lot of hanging on our monday so let's take a deep breath let's stretch it out remember each and every time we stretch we want to go a little bit deeper than we did the day before. So let's grab our arm, bring it across our chest, and let's just relax and hang out. You know, we had a nice fun weekend in the sun. We got to watch DC Fandome. You got to see all of your favorite DC characters come back to life, like Black Adam and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Little fun Shazam stuff going on there. I mean, let me know what y'all watched, what y'all liked. Remember, don't forget that the, the crew is coming. They're going to do the DC Fandome trailer reactions this afternoon. They'll be posted up on YouTube. You can go watch all of those, get caught up with what the game or what the team has to say. What game are you playing right now? I'm playing Redacted, so I can't talk about what game I've been playing. But uh, let's see. I did play Forza Horizon 5 that I am allowed to talk about during my preview period last week, and I had a ton of fun of that. So if you listen to this week's Kind of Funny X-Cast, you can check out me and Paris sharing our thoughts of Forza Horizon down in Mexico. And I got to tell you, it is truly incredible. It is so much fun. I really can't wait for all of us to get the full game later on uh, early November. But yeah, that one I can talk about. And I will tell you, so much fun. What a great time, y'all. What a great time. That's what I've been playing lately. Getting ready for the Xbox mini fridge is right, Mocha Shona. Got to get ready for that pre-order. I want nothing more than that Xbox mini fridge. So need everybody out there in the Twitch world to remember tomorrow, please yell at me during the Twitch stream if it goes live so we are prepared to try to get that as fast as possible. And that's it. We've just been stretching, Barrett. We're loose. Ooh, I ordered right. Chipotle. Right. My lunch is on the way. Mr. Dr. Connor, I appreciate the question you're gonna you're asking right here. I don't want either of us to answer it. Because the second we start talking about what we want for Metal Gear Solid 4, Chad is immediately going to start spoiling like the ending of that game for us. <laughs> They can't, chat can't get their shit together when it comes to Metal Gear Solid, all right? I'm going to have to put the chat in, like, uh, emote only mode again. It's going to be a whole, a you know, whole ordeal. That. You know, I hate that. I yeah. hate when I, I don't get to talk with all of you. I know. It's, it's tough, man. See, Mike, I'm kind of feeling... I'm kind of feeling some Panda Express, Mike. Ooh. I'm feeling panda. some Panda. Now, see, on Panda, I'm such a baby. Because all I ever get, Barrett, is orange chicken and white rice. I don't get anything else. So really? like, Just the what are you rice. gonna get? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah oh, yeah. I'm Let's I'm rocking the I'm I'm rocking the orange chicken with you all the way. Okay. Um, yeah. Of course. What I usually do, and it's unfortunate because I don't think they have it here. All right. So we're gonna go fried rice. I fuck with the fried rice from from Panda. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do orange chicken on the website at least. They don't let me order the. Oh, what was it? It was like the. It was like the sweet fire uh, chicken or something like that. And that chicken was dope as hell. Uh, but for some reason, I can't order that on the site anymore, which is unfortunate. So I'll just go double orange chicken there. And that's what we're going to do for the day. <clears throat> do I get myself 
a veggie spring roll? That's the other question. Oh, yeah. Treat yourself today, Barrett. Treat yourself. I'm going to treat myself. Select one size. Oh. We'll do a small. We'll do a small. We'll just get two uh, veggie spring rolls there. And you know what? We're going to do... We're going to do a root beer. I haven't had a good root beer in a while, Mikey, so I'm going to order myself a root beer. Mug? Barks? What's uh, Barks. Like? Barks. Barks root beer is the best. That's right. <clears throat> I would personally go uh, A&W, but that's what they got available today. That's what they got available. Yeah, stretch it out, Mikey. Let me tell you, I think I pinched a muscle in my lower back twice over the weekend, Mike, in the same exact spot. Oh, really? Spot. Yeah. The way I bent down... I just like I felt it pierce and it's like it'll only happen when I'm in a certain position, but I was like, Oh my god, here it is, my downfall. I'm turning into an old man. Granted, you know, I've had I've I've had back 10 problems. Day, ten minutes a day change mm, your life, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had back problems since I got hit by a car in high school, so it's no big surprise, honestly. Did you get hit by a car like uh in Super Bad when John Hill got hit by a car. How did you get hit by I a car? Uh, when does he get hit by a car in Superbad? What? When they go to buy liquor, remember? And then the guy backs up into him and he falls over and stuff. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. God, that was a good one. That's a good um, one. All right, hold on. I'm trying to figure out. It's not letting me. That's the right card. It's not letting me place my order. Is, is Panda not open yet? That'd be very weird. Let's see. Let's full screen it. Did something did something get weird? Place your delivery order. What's going on here? What's going on here, chat? What happened? <clears throat> Why can't I order this panda right now? Oh, this restaurant can't complete orders right now. Please try again later or choose another restaurant. Damn. Rest in peace, panda. They're open, though, right? Should I try again on a different app? What do you think, chat? What do you think? They're all out of pandas. What about orange chicken and honey walnut shrimp? I don't fuck with shrimp. I'm going to be honest there. Barrett got hit the way Brad Pitt got hit. I just pre-ordered the Target exclusive Taylor Swift red vinyl. Panda's busy. They will disconnect their online ordering. Huh? <clears throat> Panda swamped then. Send Andy to get your order. Andy is not here today. I miss him. If y'all saw on his uh, Instagram, he is, he's traveling for something. I forget what it is that he traveled for, but he is not. I'm all alone in the, in the, in the apartment today, which is really scary. No Lulu. Alyssa's out at work. Andy's in another city, which always has me terrified because I'm scared he's going to get lost. Did we ever tell you about the time we lost him in the theater for Toy Story 4? We went to go see it in uh, the Metreon downtown San Francisco. We're all together. It's a big group. We're all excited to see Toy Story 4, four the first Toy Story in like eight years or whatever it was. Uh, nine years maybe. And we're all getting – like we're all showing our tickets and stuff. And Alyssa kind of like looks back at Andy and she's like thinking to herself like, oh, should I wait for Andy? Because, like, our theater was, like, pretty much right at the entrance where the, the uh, where they take the tickets. She looks back at Andy, this adult that we all know and love and appreciate. And we know who can, like, handle himself. And she looks back at him. And she's like, should I wait so he knows where to go? She thinks to herself, no, he knows where to go. We go in. We sit down. We don't see Andy for, like, the first, like, 20 minutes of the movie. <laughs> and he shows up. And he had, had the toughest time finding his theater. He had asked an employee where his theater number was. They could give him an answer. It was, like, probably that employee's, like, very first day for some goddamn reason. Um, and so he, like, went into a different Toy Story 4 theater and sat down and watched, like, the first, like, few minutes. And then, like, looked around, couldn't find any of us. And was like, I think I'm in uh, the wrong theater. Uh, we're going to clear this order. Sorry, I'm also just uh, uh, filling time here as I figure out what I want instead of Panda. Since Panda is busy and I don't want to add to that busyness even through a different app. This is the IMAX story. Yep, yep. We're in the IMAX theater, which is like right at the entrance and he couldn't find it. Uh Chat, I'm going with Ike's Love and Sandwiches. That's what I'm going to have for lunch today. If you don't know Ike's, 
which if you don't live in the Bay Area, you probably don't. It's a local sandwich chain that has grown bigger and bigger throughout the years in the Bay Area. Um, that's what I'm in the mood for now since I can't have Panda. I'm going to go with my go-to, the number 111, the menage a trois sandwich. Halal chicken, barbecue, honey mustard, real honey, pepper jack, cheddar, and Swiss. We're going to go with a whole wheat bread. I like my whole wheat. Um, uh, we're going to add – we're actually not going to add anything here. It's honestly, to me, I think the perfect sandwich. So I'm not even going to add anything to this sandwich right here. Now, I miss uh, ordering from uh, – I miss being in the Kind of Funny office and ordering an Ike sandwich because I would do it often. And they would always uh, send, uh, like, a lollipop or something to have. And I'm not huge, like, on, on like, those kind of sweets. But I know one cool Greg who I used to share uh, my desk and his desk, like, connected. So whenever I would get uh, an Ike sandwich and get, like, a, a blueberry uh, uh, lollipop or whatever, I'd always toss it to, to cool Greg's way because he would always appreciate that. Um, all right, and then we're going to get Zaps chips. We're going to get Voodoo Heat Zaps chips, and we're going to go with the Dr. Pepper since they don't have a root beer, which makes me sad, but I feel like Dr. Pepper is like a close a close substitute, not an exact one-to-one -one substitute, but a close substitute for a root beer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we're going to ask for napkins because uh, an Ike sandwich can get a little messy there. All right. Ike's isn't too busy. There we go. Sweet. Whew. Someone was asking me earlier, is it getting hot in the Batman mask? It's not hot. But because it's plasticky and it's right up on my face, like I'm already naturally a, like a very oily boy because I'm pale and Irish and from the Midwest. So I'm like honestly very naturally oily. And so with this press up on my face for hours at a time, like I'm feeling the oil rise up, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Rise up. I think you're muted. Rise up. <laughs> <laughs> the oil rises. All right. Lunch is ordered. Uh, Mike's lunch is on the way, I assume, mm -hmm. for him yeah. and his uh, mother. Uh, Mike, does your mom want to join the stream at, at, at all and reminisce in Batman Arkham City at all today? She, she might stop by. She likes stopping by on the content. She's downstairs working hard, about to take a walk through the snow. So we'll see when she comes up here. All right, yeah, Mike, you were telling us, uh, you know, Ooh. we uh, y'all just got some it's snow today. How many inches mm -hmm. are we talking? Just a light the dusting, probably about an inch at lake level. Nah. I bet you up top at 9,000 feet, they probably okay. got anywhere from three to four. But, uh, you know, Why? it's early, right? Shit. Usually it doesn't snow until October 31st. So to see snow ready. falling on the 18th like and earlier, you know, you got to have a good feeling that uh, winter is coming. It, it, yeah, it makes me hopeful, too, because I feel like, uh, especially like Lake Tahoe, has had some, like, not so great winters uh, recently. <laughs> With, like, everything being a little lighter for uh, the slopes and stuff like that. So that's very exciting that y'all are going to get some stuff early. So hopefully it'll be a good winner for y'all. Yeah. Now, Mike, I need you to keep me honest as well since I'm going to be uh, playing and stuff. If anybody sends or uh, gives five subs, of course, they can choose uh, a gadget for me to not use in, a, in an encounter. So... Um, keep me honest there if uh, there's any gadgets that need to be taken off of my mental uh, mapping here. Let me know. I'll keep my eye out there for it. You know it. All right, so now we have the electricity gun. That was a very quick hour. Felt like it was just, just a second ago he said 10 hours. Finally dips below 50 uh, at night here in Tennessee. Woo! Um, yeah, it's. I think it's the, one of the coldest days uh, here in San Francisco that we've had in a while. Low 60s today, which I was very thankful for. Because yeah. I knew I was going to be streaming all day. And it's one of those things like in the late afternoon, right? It would it would be heating up in the in our bedroom here. So, Silent Ninja with the Prime Gaming stuff for 25 months says, Bear, can I play Arkham Asylum on PlayStation or Switch? I haven't played it. Uh, yes, on PlayStation. The Return to Arkham yes, uh, series are both on PlayStation. I don't know if there is a weird thing with Return to Arkham on PS5, I think. Um, I don't know if there is, those are still purchasable uh, through the PlayStation Store to look it up. Uh, Switch, the uh, Arkham games have not been ported to Switch, so PlayStation would be your, your only option there. What did you build? Tell me, tell me! Harvey, get back in here! I'm now see what you've done, Scrampy Man. Come in, Mr. J. I love 
the she does a casual backflip out of there. Um, so yeah, if you if you missed it, Joker is looking a little sickly because he got infected by the uh, the Titan formula, um, which happened in the first game in Arkham Asylum, where he infected himself with uh, the the Bane inspired Titan formula, made himself into a big monster, then we kicked the crap out of him. And then um, uh, because of that, uh, he kind of recovered, but it didn't seem like he fully healed from his blood, and now he has some sort of infection. Um, Ant-Man gifted out five community subs. Ant-Man, choose a, choose a gadget for me to uh, to not be able to use <clears throat> in my next uh, encounter here. Now, an item that I have to use right now is the RE REC gun, since we just got it. <clears throat> now we've got a closed door, a big hook here that's metal inspired the only solution of course is to use it to pull off the door <laughs> yeah that's the only solution to that that's right he says the grappling hook. all right no, no grappling, grappling hook, hook got it that one. So that is that's this one so i can't use left trigger y at all in this next fight okay oh surprise oh no Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> For a second, Mr. Hammer wasn't popping up in the cutscene. I was like, oh no, is he going to be invisible during this fight? <laughs> Teach you some manners. Arkham City is going to be your grave. Oh! Oh, that was really scary. Let me tell you. Uh oh. Bye, Mike. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Now, see, the pro strat would have been to take away the uh, the electric gun for me. Then I couldn't use it on uh, Mr. Hammer here. Mm. Mr. Hammer with the one arm, yep. <clears throat> you can electrify him and make him punch some of the, the baddies here to take out. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Get out of there! Oh! Oh, there we go. Like it was nothing. Uh-oh. <gasps> why? Why, 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 why? <laughs> I can't believe they did it. The Mad Lads did it. You! They killed Get the Joker. Out of my way, Quinn. Leave us alone, B-Man. <laughs> I'm just realizing I went straight from Asylum to Arkham Knight and never played this one. I <laughs> must have been really confused at the beginning of Arkham Knight. This is all your fault. You pounded him for years, beat him to a pulp, and for what? Why are you so mean? Why are you so mean? Surprise! Uh-oh. You fell for the old fake Joker gang, Batman. Batter up! We got fooled by those jabronis, Mike. That was, that's a good played. scene right there. <laughs> the old fake Joker gag. So good. Good. Gives this kitten some time to play. So what next? Help tall, brooding, and handsome? Or help myself do all the loot Professor Strange has locked up in that vault of his? Ooh. I know. I don't feel like you should Difficult label it confiscated right? goods hmm. so everybody in the the Find prison can see, Mikey. The hole into the vault? <laughs> As Penguin for some explosives? Not my style. I always prefer a woman's touch in these situations. There we go. Stay where you are, Ivy. I'm coming to get you. I need to get my kit from my apartment. No way I can face Ivy without my things. I'd be naked without them. So yeah, here we go. One of the the first, or I guess technically second, uh, Catwoman uh, little segment here. There's some natural breaks in the Batman story where we hop back over here. And of course, if you didn't have the uh, the Catwoman DLC, you would just have to, you would just go to the next uh, cutscene in, in Batman's tale. <clears throat> so 
So she's got some things she's going to try to steal, and she's going to try to recruit Poison Ivy to her side. Now, this I didn't always love with the timing of, like, trying to jump around as Catwoman. It's like mm. nail the perfect timing thing, because if you didn't do it right, hold on, let me see. I'm going to purposely mess up here, right? So I just, like, did it too late. It, did, it, it feels really weird. Okay. And I never felt like I, I could well, ever nail the timing anyway. here. Two Face said she lives somewhere near here. So what? How does he know? How am I supposed to know? I, I don't question the boss. You shouldn't either. I know, I know. Well, how can he be so pissed all of a sudden anyway? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because Catwoman left him hanging over that acid tank. <laughs> really? Yeah. He had it just where he wanted her, and that bitch broke free. Seriously? How come I miss all this stuff? Maybe it's because you spend half your life eating that crap in those tins, and the other half on a crapper. Yeah, Damn. there's something wrong with it. Then here's an <laughs> Stop eating it, and find out where Catwoman's been hiding. <laughs> What's she doing here? Ooh. Her takedowns are so good. There's one uh, to distract them or uh, throw them off guard. She kisses them and then she flips them over onto their back. It's wild. Alright, I know we're playing as Catwoman, but we're not gonna we're not gonna upgrade her any of her mm. stuff right now. Um, we got a special combat a combo bat swarm. We've got the special combo boost that we could go with. Uh, that would require only five hits in a in a multiplier to get a special mm -hmm. takedown. Got the bat claw disarm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go combat armor. Okay. Nice. Upgrade some more armor here. Mm, it's go. good to be home. Catwoman's apartment, obviously, with uh, all the cats all hanging the out. Cat, all <laughs> the cats all around, right? Yep. Wonder if Catwoman will be in Gotham Knights. That's a good question. Okay, Selena. Time to oh, No, okay. actually, you got we have to remember this is the thing everybody gets confused with. I mean, there could be some version of Catwoman in Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights is not in the Arkhamverse. That's something that we have to remember. Suicide Squad will be in the Arkhamverse, uh, however. Oh, so that's the okay. interesting thing with Suicide Squad of, like, will there be threads that they follow up with from Arkham Knight? Um, which will be a, an interesting uh, Let's hope she's forgiven thing to see. Of course she has. She wouldn't hold a grudge. And it's for the reasoning why Gotham Knights isn't a different uh, universe in the Arkham games. I'm sure there are plenty of reasons. One that, like, okay. I'm probably going to, like, uh, guess is that for WB Montreal to, like, fully play around in a universe of their own creation. I think with WB or uh, Batman Arkham Origins, right, I feel like WB Montreal was a little pigeon hell to, like, what Rock City had been doing. And there's, like, a level of expectation uh, like making a game in the Arkhamverse, I think. She's here. Oh, what? Y'all already saw me? Lame. This'll be easy, freak. So I think it's probably like, when it comes down to it, I think that's probably a simple explanation of like why this, why uh, Gotham Knights won't be in the Arkhamverse uh, technically. Because it's even easier, uh, like with the explanation of like how Batman is dead and stuff like that like it's played out differently in the trailer he also mentions that like Gordon is dead and as we see in the uh, ending of Arkham Knight like Gordon is not dead in that universe and stuff like that call me crazy I honestly think this style of combat suits Spider-Man far more than Batman I think you're crazy kebabs which style of combat? This right here, or yeah, the Gotham free Knight? like the, the the free flow uh, like Batman Arkham style of uh, combat here. I think Arkham or I think the Spider Man games like do a really good job of putting their own kind of like twist on it, right? Especially like I think the Amazing Spider Man games were very inspired by the uh, Arkham um, combat sequences, but okay, yeah. Batman is definitely not actually dead in Gotham Knights. No, man. He's definitely dead. 
Uh, what's his face? Uh, Troy Pliskin. What, what, what's his name in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2? Oh, uh... Iroquois Jones. Iroquois Jones. Iroquois Pliskin? Iroquois Pliskin. Indica Jones is Indica what we Jones is what we call him, right? Indica Jones is definitely his own very own character. Yeah, exactly. Definitely nobody exactly. else, that's right? His own that's his own dude, that's right. What the Wait, where is ba Barrett's Catwoman suit? That's Nick. That's Nick who has the Catwoman That's suit. That's Nick, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ivy. Yeah, Indica Jones is definitely you not Snake. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. You're not seriously going to hold that against me forever, are you? You killed them all. Oh, they were just flowers, Ivy. I'll buy you some new ones. I know a place that... My guess is that Batman will be trapped in the labyrinth. I think the labyrinth is going to be used in a different way for Gotham Knights. Uh, to not spoil man. anything major for just... the Court of Owls stuff. Uh, but I think the, we'll, we'll definitely see the labyrinth, I think, for the Court of Owls and Gotham Knights. I don't think that's where Batman will be. I've seen a couple of different theories lining up with uh, where I think uh, hey, Pammy, Bruce slash Batman will be. There's like two like major theories that I could... Out. I can see happening. I love that, like, Ivy has just leered so many people to her. Yeah, oh, to yeah. To do her bidding. And we see, like, all the different factions here. Do you really think you can beat Mother Nature? You done, oh. Red? I thought that they said Bruce was dead in Gotham Knights. Y'all. Oh, <laughs> come on. Thank you, we Phil 91 right there says, oh, yo, also oh, loving the Arkham Files, Barrett. Love Thank the you. passion you have for the series and the shows. We'll get ready for Arkham Files number two here later this afternoon. And yes, I have been keeping up with the NHL season, the return, uh, my avalanche I'm excited for. And I've also been playing some NHL 22. Ooh. How are you liking it? I, I love the NHL series. One of the best sports games they out there. I don't think I've played an NHL game since like 2004. Oh, it's just like the controls, the yet, speed, I the fun of talk, hockey. It's, it does really well in video game form. It's not over. She's consistent. I'll give her that. You can't outrun nature, Selena. My spores will fill your lungs and kill you from within. Can't wait, Ant Man. You know that, big dog. You know that. Bro. Oh, I forgot she starts spitting the, the stuff from the first game at you in this fight. Oh, there she is, right in the back. Oh god. Oh, and then her. I forgot. I think her spores also knock out her own dudes. I could be wrong about that though. God, playing as Catwoman is so fun. Especially in Arkham Knight when you can play as her in like all of the challenge rooms. I think she was like the reason why I was able to get so many uh, trophies and get that get that <laughs> platinum. Keep going, I'll be right back. Yep. Look, Red, I just need your help. Never. Not again. You've got some nerve, Selena. Uh-oh. What's going to happen to Catwoman? Guess we'll have to find out later. How much longer do you think you have left, Barrett? In the in the playthrough right now? Back here, Harley. But I want to know who he is, sweetie. <coughs> no one's who you think they are, my dear. Why spoil the fun? Probably like another four hours. We haven't even gotten to Penguin's place yet. There's nothing wrong with you. Nice of you to see. And of course, you can elongate that, y'all, uh, with all of the uh, gifting subs to uh, mess with my gameplay. Get five subs to choose a gadget I can't use on the next encounter. Get ten subs so I can't use Detective Vision on the next stealth encounter. Get twenty subs uh, so I can't use purchases in the next uh, purchase in, in the next stealth encounter. So I have to stay on the ground. Every time we fill up a bar, 
uh, instead of adding an hour, we'll add a, um, a side mission for y'all to vote on what I do. We already have one side mission in uh, the books, which is to look out for look, Azriel. We're running out of time. I need your help. I nearly had so if you want to see some more side mission so goodness, fill up that bar. It was taken from me. So we both die. I'm fine with that. Are uh, you? Imagine sucking down that last breath knowing that Gotham is doing the same. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, didn't I say? I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. So that's Protocol 10. Poison Gotham. I expected more. Protocol 10? <gasps> Never heard of it. Uh-oh. Hold tight. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in touch! So then we get into the second major thread in the game. Yeah, someone was talking about the speed run. The fastest speed run for Arkham City is 23 minutes. How do they do it? Joker's uh, attached a, a cell phone to us. An absurdly large cell phone for the absurdly large hands in I'm the Arkham listening. universe. Is someone feeling a little down? What do you want? Oh, bad. Cheer up. It won't kill you. Oops. <laughs> Where is the cure? Who has it? I had our cold-hearted friend Mr. Freeze making it. But he's gone dark on me. I'll find him. I bet you... Got him. <clears throat> I love that he can just put, like, a phone SD card into his arm, and then he's like, yeah, all right, I got the Alfred, Joker's number, Joker's I guess. poisoned me. He may have poisoned Gotham, too. Mr. Freeze has the only cure. What are you waiting for, then? He's in Arkham City. Find him. If only it was that simple. He'll be somewhere cold. He needs to be kept at sub-zero temperatures to survive. I don't wish to worry you, but it is the middle of winter out there. I noticed. I've calibrated the cowl to track heat signatures. I'll find the coldest point in Arkham City. Yeah, it was just like little moments like that where we're like, we got the mention of Mr. Freeze earlier, but I didn't think we would actually like have full on interaction. Oh no, I guess like he was in trailers, so. But it was still that like cool moment of like, oh fuck, like we're actually gonna go find freeze right now like that's fucking wild um yeah I, I don't know. um what was i gonna say there's some someone else had a question here um story progress is actually connected directly to location so in the 20 minute speed run he reaches wonder tower in 15 minutes damn that's wild um someone was asking a question that i wanted to answer and i totally missed it Nah, whatever. But we're going to continue the Azrael storyline here, the Azrael side mission that y'all voted on. Because there he is, second appearance there. And just as a reminder, in roughly one hour from now, the second episode of the Arkham Files will premiere over on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Uh, right before that starts, we're going to go back on standby here, take a little 10 minute break, spam the YouTube link in the chat for y'all to go watch together uh, with us. I'll, I'll probably be in the chat for the uh, YouTube premiere for the second episode of the Arkham Files, which is all about why Batman Arkham City is the best at making you feel like Batman. Uh, we'll hang out. Uh, for that uh, in about an hour and then uh, once that's over we'll come back from standby uh, in the stream and we'll finish out the rest of Arkham City who are you going to try to main in Gotham Knights? I don't know I'm still undecided are you the one the prophecy spoke of? are you the one the prophecy spoke of? alright alright you mysterious watcher Keep your secrets, I guess. Watcher in the wings is what we call him right now. Gwen's sending people out looking for Freeze. If he's double-crossed Joker, I'm figuring we'll be sticking him in sooner or later. I think Freeze's lab must be this way. I'm definitely heading toward the coldest point. Whoa! I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. A hotline straight to my bestest friend in the world. 
Just think, I can call you up whenever I get bored. <laughs> I think our relationship is really maturing here. The next thing you know is we'll be exchanging emails or meeting up for romantic dinners. The old GCPD building. Freeze must be using one of the old forensic labs. I've got to get in there. Stop it! The door. It's shut tight. So, so we found now? Freeze's base of operations here. We went to the coldest oh, point in Arkham right City now. to find Freeze. It's just so goddamn cool. I know. Isn't that the best? I love that. Joker? Sounds like a plan. Anybody got anything to smoke? Nah, I'm out. Since Joker and Penguin went to war, it's getting harder and harder to get what you need in here. I know what you mean. Maybe Penguin's crew's got some. Guess we could find out after we kill them all. Alright, it's gonna make me look at this next new side mission. Please, I'm on the roof of the old Gotham FM building. Someone's after me. I, I don't know who. He's gonna find me. I, I need help. I can't help you, sir. The chat hasn't filled up a second bar to vote to go after... I think that's the dead shot uh, side mission. Sorry, sir. I know it's very un Batman like of me. Right, I can't remember if this guy's gonna turn left. Or does he turn around? Yep, he turns left. Uh, Narco, Narco asked, Mike, are you into comics? I have a very unhealthy relationship with comics, just like I have an unhealthy relationship with many other things. Uh, I'll tell you a story, Baird. So, I had never read a comic, nor had I ever, like, really been into comics until one of the latest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So... Right next to the movie theater down in Carson, there's a small mom and pop comic book shop. And so me and Steezy Steve went there. And afterwards, Steezy Steve was like, yo, let's go check out this comic book shop. And I was like, all right, I've never really been in there. Let's do it. And so all of a sudden, I'm in there and it's 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 got me. Right? Uh -oh. I got a pull you got sucked now. in. I'm going on the weekly and buying comics. I have four full comic book boxes, cardboard boxes filled with comics. And I've probably read 10% of them, so I have a problem. <laughs> and I'm going to admit that. But uh, when it comes down to reading them, I read all of Green Arrow, New 52. I love Green Arrow. Static Shock, I love Static Shock. Batman and Robin, I read all of the Batman and Robins. Those are my favorite. The Suicide yeah. Squad, I loved as well. So I, I have a, a good mix. A lot of the Spider-Mans as well, I have. Mm. X-Men are in there, but... Yeah, we could go through all four of those boxes. I can tell you, I've read probably 20% at most. And it's just like, whoo, I, was I trying got to a lot of comments. I was trying to rebuild my Ultimate Spider-Man collection. Um, but there's like a, there's a uh, one, uh, what is it, trade that is like almost impossible to find. I forget which one it is, but it, it's like pretty late into the series. And okay. it bums me out. If I hack this radio, I love that series. I'll be able to listen into all of Actually, big fan of the Walking Dead comics, Bear. So oh. I have all of like uh, the really nice uh, like hardcover books behind me down on my shelf right here. And I loved those. Those were incredible. Those right now, so there's a pull-up. Who's your favorite Robin? You got Richard, uh, Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Stephanie Brown, and Damian Wayne. Um, my Damian. Vote, my, vote goes Come to, on. my vote goes to Tim Drake. I do love the Damian Bruce oh. dynamic all the time. Damien's badass. I just love bro. how much love of a detective Damien. like Tim is. Like he is the detective in like that like aspect of the Bat family, you know. Oof. Joker's crew are still outside, Mr. Calvin. Good. Make sure it stays that way. No problem. <laughs> right, listen up. Boss wants his I, held tight. Chris Senka, I did not see that about Static Shock. I, static Shock I thought they were doing a live action movie. I could have sworn. Just He's like saying that. animated movie, which is oh, dope. Okay. Okay. Static Shock and Jackie Chan Adventures, Barrett. Every single day after that would have been sophomore year of high school, right before basketball practice. That's what. That's how it went. Loved those two shows. We're gonna take down these two Jeronis like really quickly. 
Because <clears throat> as we see, the penguin, these are uh, the penguins mercenaries here. They're looking for Mr. Freeze, maybe? But they've got heart monitors, so he knows when they get knocked out here. I'm running out of patience. You're running out of people. Let's see what runs out first. That's fucking wild that that's Nathan Drake, man. That is, uh, when you, that's what, you know, Cameron Ken says it best. It's so much fun to play this with you, Bear, because you know There's so much here. about that. I never knew that. Also, I tried to think of myself 10 years ago. I didn't know all the famous voice actors. Oh, yeah, like, neither did I. Like, I had no idea back then who the so fuck Nolan North was or Troy yeah. Baker or, like, like any of this. Like, all I knew was, like, Mark it's Hamill so and Kevin up. Conroy, and that's all I knew. Mm. Why does Pe uh, Penguin sound like an Australian? I think because he is Australian in, in the Arkhamverse. Hmm. I think that's the explanation there. What gadgets do I have available? You How's still? he keep okay. doing this? Okay. Okay. What's going on? People really like up. Richard we Grayson won the poll. Wow, all right. What's wrong? A little Just sad about the yourself? Damian Wayne. Y'all really I'm messed with me on that one. A little disappointed, y'all. <laughs> a little disappointed. Four. You heard what the penguin said, right? Okay, there's still three of them. Right. One of them went off one. on his own. We're gonna take him down. <laughs> No, you too. Oh God, wake up! We're gonna leave a little present for them there. How is he doing this? Leave him. We've got more important things to be looking out for. Show yourself, chicken. Mm. Are you mucking me about? Find him. You heard the penguin? Move it. Thank you so much, Terry, for the kind words. This is all Barrett. Barrett Come wanted to celebrate him. the ten-year anniversary, down. and I will tell you, jumping in, it has been absolutely incredible to be back here. And have some fun with all of you and Barrett. So, yeah, give all the love to Barrett. And, of course, get ready for Arkham Files number two. We're going to be watching that. We're going to be premiering that here in Please, just a little bit. Up. You don't want to miss out on the fun. I'm dropping my weapon. You don't need to I love me. this, too. Like, the first Penguin interaction. Because they're mercenaries, right? Like, they're they're being paid. They don't have any, like, sworn loyalty to him, right? And this last dude is like, fuck it. Like, I, this is too scary. I can't handle this. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Freeze? He's in the museum. It's a Cockney Penguin's London accent? Him. Oh, okay. I guess he's not Australian in this one. On no. He's definitely not uh, British sorry, in, uh, what was it, Gotham Knights? Very much got a full-on American yeah, accent. Oh, my gosh. That doesn't sound good. Uh oh. Yeah, something just blew up. If he was Alfred, smart, he would have blown us up, you know. Have you retrieved the cure from Mr. Freeze? There were complications. Let me tell you, it's very difficult to eat, uh, drink and in this mess. In the GCPD building. You do realize that you will actually die if you don't get this cure soon. Thanks for reminding me, Alfred. I'm in a police building. Cobblepots obviously bribed some official into giving him the lock codes for the municipal structures. I'm downloading the unlock codes right now. All right, so here are the stakes, Mikey. We still don't know what Protocol 10 is, and that's something that Dr. Hugo Strange teased at the very beginning. We thought Joker might have been involved. <clears throat> no, Joker is doing his own thing. He is infected with his uh, toxic Joker blood uh, that was created by using the Titan in Arkham Asylum. While we were knocked out uh, at the same time while Catwoman was uh, trying to recruit Poison Ivy to uh, steal some things from Hugo Strange, the Joker infected us with his blood. So now we have the same uh, toxin disease that the Joker has. And Batman was like, all right, like if we both die, whatever, fine, I'm fine with that. And the Joker was like, mm, but here's the thing, buddy. I've been sending my blood to all of, the, uh, all of Gotham's hospitals. Um, as like donation blood, so probably a bunch of people in uh in Gotham right now who are also infected with my blood. So find me a goddamn cure, or you, me, and innocent civilians in Gotham are gonna die. And so those are the stakes set there, Mikey. And now we're looking for Mr. Freeze because Joker had recruited Mr. Freeze to make a cure, but Mr. Freeze has gone dark, so we have to we have to go find him. And now the penguin is messing with us. And I think he might have just said that he has freeze. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if he uh, confirmed that yet or not. Now, of course, this is the question. Shouldn't hospitals be testing this blood before they uh, they use it 
for uh, blood transfusions and stuff? Great question. But you have to remember, it's a comic book game, so, you know, you can't yeah. pick too hard. <laughs> I, I love these games because everybody's involved, right? It feels like everybody's in here, and that's what you want to be as bad. And they're all, right? they're all the messing with each powers. other, too, right? Like, yeah. the penguin just blew up this fucking street in the middle of this <laughs> to mess with Joker and their gang war going on, and Two-Face. Tag man, I will check that out. Uh, another one I didn't say is I love Teen Titans. I'm a big mm. Teen Titans guy, so I, I love Teen Titans. T e e n t i t a n s t i t e n s. Let's go. I love Teen Titans. So yeah, I have a lot of Titans comics as well. Um, love the Teen Titans so much. But I will check out the Damien arc because I am a big Damien fan. Damien's got some great stories out there. Yeah, and I think I think he'd ass. probably be a number three. For I think it, for me, it would go Tim Drake, Dick Grayson, Damian Wayne, mm. um, Jason Todd at the end there. And it's not that I just like Jason Todd. I just think he he gets overused a little bit, especially in recent years. Um, all right, so we're going to, as we see, the, the Riddler, it seems, has uh, made a visit to the church. Again, we're not doing the Riddler side mission here um, because that would literally take us days. We'd be here doing like a, a 48 hour stream just to take on this one man. But we will start it so I can solve some riddle, uh, riddles and get some XP out of that. So I can uh, unlock some abilities quicker. Been watching Batman Beyond for the first time since it came out. That's just uh, still super holds up. Hell yeah. I started a rewatch of the animated series last year and I fell off. I got pretty deep into it. My plan was to like watch the animated series, um, then rewatch the all of the movies, uh, rewatch Batman Beyond, and then rewatch uh, Return of the Joker, which I have not watched any of those since I was a kid. Jason is a great character, just not a good Robin. That's a good point. I'm an instrument whose music always comes from the heart. What am I? Organ. Well done. Nah, See, get it. You can get do it. it. Solve enough of my carefully constructed conundrums, and I'll tell you where the rest of my hostages are. Has the year one animated the movie come out yet? That came out like years ago, I thought. I suggest you hurry. I remember watching he it. may have been sentenced already. Uh-oh. Riddler out here spinning too dad jokes. Dark night. All through Arkham City, deep, deep undercover, are people working to ensure that I am informed of what the other so-called super criminals are planning. Planning, 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 right planning. Now. One of them is arranging a little uh -oh. welcoming committee for you outside. Yeah, your one came out a few a few years ago. That's the one that isn't Brian Cranston. Doesn't he voice Gordon in that? Um, that was only one movie. I don't think that was a two parter. Long Halloween just recently came out, and that was oh. uh, that was a two parter. Uh, so if you got HBO Max. I think both parts are on HBO Max. And, really? Oh, yeah. I'll check that out. Yeah, Long That's Halloween is dope. And if like if you're looking to get prepared for the Batman with Robert Pattinson, I would highly that recommend um, checking out the Long Halloween either in the comic book form. I've heard the the animated movie adaptation is is decent. Um, okay. I would uh, obviously always uh, recommend the the comic version um, just because of like that original kind of like vision for both the long uh, Halloween and Dark Victory are so goddamn oh, good. Yep. Um, okay. so. Madness on my list as we speak, y'all. There you go. Now, year one, that's the one where he fights like the gigantic pale dude in the mud, right? No, that's the Dark Knight uh, Returns. That is, uh, that is old Bruce Wayne. Um, okay. Yeah, like, that's like... I think he retired for... It's been a long time since I've read Returns, so I'm not, like, as up on that one. Like, not as, like... Oh, God. So now we can uh, interrogate this Riddler. I know you work for Riddler. Please. Oh, my gosh. There's so many cool ones, bro. They got Batman versus Robin. It's been a Son pleasure. of Batman. Batman Bad Blood. Mm. Gotham by Gaslight. I mean, it, wow. HBO Max got them all for you to get, get lost, and I like that. Year One Animated Batman is year amazing. One. I, I, okay. I thought Year Come One, up. the movie, was fine. Um, I've also never been, like, the biggest fan of Year One either. It's just, it feels like, in today's standards, it's like a very, it's like, yeah, it's Batman's origin story. Kind of been like that. What did you think of Batman Ninja? Did you like that? 
Uh, nah. Did you watch that one? It wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Yeah. I would say the Red Hood adaptation, uh, Batman Red, uh, Under the Red Hood. I think that was a very good ad adaptation. I think, uh, who is it? Um, the, the guy Hood who Hood plays Hood. Dean in um, ooh, Supernatural. What's his name? What's his name, Mike? Um, Don't know. Never seen that one. Oh, you never watched Supernatural? Oh, what a no, great show. No, no, never. What a great show. Um, why am I blanking on this man's name? And why, when I look him oh, up, it does not tell me who the... F Jensen Ackles. I'm pretty sure Jensen Ackles voiced the Red Hood and Under the Red Hood, if I'm not mistaken. And he voices uh, Batman in the um, the Long Halloween, from what I understand. I may have seen Penguin's guys over there. Man, Joker is going to be pissed. And you're sure. Visual on target. I repeat, we have visual on Batman. Great is a bit of a stretch. What, the Red Hood adaptation? I thought it was really good. Let me tell you, it was not a good adaptation. You should not watch it, Mikey, but you should read it. Batman Hush. Batman Hush was fantastic. Okay, okay. I just added that to my watch list. Don't watch that one. Okay. Don't watch that one. Read that one. Mm, okay, okay. That adaptation, doo-doo. Not great. Doo-doo. They, com they, they completely change the context for, for everything going on in that one near the end. Oh, my food is here. I just added a lot of Batmans onto my list. There you go. A lot of Batmans, y'all. All right. <clears throat> go Walking away mid-combo. I'll be back well, with my that's food. That's how it's going. That's how it's going, y'all. Tell me what other comics y'all been reading. Now, now you got me into the comics, which is not good. I'm going to be very mad at y'all because that's going to take me down a bad rabbit hole that I should not go back into. But let me know the comics y'all been reading or if there is some cool Batman animated movies that you've been really liking. Mike, have you watched the new Batman trailer? I did. I did, Terry. I watched it. The gang will react to it later this afternoon and post it up on YouTube. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. I'm excited. I, I can't wait. I love superhero movies. I I'm all about more Batman, so I'm into it. I can't wait. Finished reading your box of comics. There's CJ Rock. There's four boxes of comics, actually. God damn! I could, pro I could probably boxes, make dude. I could probably make a fifth, to be honest with you, CJ Rock, because I started to put them in. Like then, then Barrett, I got in my mindset. You ready for this kind of funny best friends? I got in this mindset. I was like, all right, Mike, you have all these. Let's read them. So what I did was, is I started putting them by my bedside with a cool little like you know that novelty comic book holder that you can get right. And so I got like four of those filled with comics as well. So I could probably fill up a fifth box when I was pretending like I was going to go back and read them. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Today they sent me the caramel apple pop. And like I was saying earlier, chat, this is what I would give to Cool Greg whenever I'd get mm, a nice sandwich. Those my favorite. Yep. Those are the best. Those things will rip your teeth out, and I love oh, it, Oh, 100%. 100%. I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling the hunger, so I'm going to have to take a, a couple bites in here before we take get a, back to the Take a moment. They're, before they're we get back good to the one. fight. Chris Anka says, Mike, have you heard of Marvel book called The Runaways? I haven't, Chris Anka. Does that one have a dinosaur Runaways in fun. it? Let me know. Runaways does that one fun. have like a Velociraptor? I think does, I think Alyssa dope. was reading Runaways at some point. And didn't that mm, mm. didn't they, didn't that get adapted at one point? I think I know like a really good friend of mine who does like really fantastic art for that, but I'm not quite sure. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. If it's not Green Arrow, Static Shock, Batman or Robin, then you got an uphill battle with me. You know what I mean? I, I've decided what I like. I know the series that I'm reading and Spider-Man and Spider-Man. Then uh, you know you gotta you gotta pull me over there to check it out. The Runaway Show was great. Where oh it was on Hulu. Oh. I was gonna say like I remember seeing trailers for it, and then like I was never sure if it actually came out. People are talking about the DC and Looney Tunes uh, comic crossovers. I've never read those. Oh, but I heard, I heard okay, they're fun. Okay. I'm a big Scooby-Doo crossover fan. I love when Scooby-Doo gets all the big crossovers. That's one of my favorites, you know what I mean? Who doesn't love a good Scooby-Doo mystery? Did that Curse the Cowardly Dog Scooby-Doo crossover ever happen? Let me know, chat. Oh, great question. Chat, let him know. Great question, chat. It's a great question. Yeah, let him know. So Bob said it did. It did. It did. Hell yeah. First time chatter from the viewer watch right there. Uh, 
the real monkey man says yes the tv shows of runaways is trash okay is trash wow. okay. okay interesting okay 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 Do you know it hurt? You know it hurt. Yeah, other other it, it, other it people are saying uh, the Courage the Cowardly Dog crossover came out like a month ago. Mm, mm, that, that'll okay. be a perfect thing to watch during the month of October for me. Oh, I like that. That's a good call. That's a good call. You eating an Ike sandwich? You know I am. Ike I sandwich. Oh okay, yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. Got nice. my got my go to Menage a Trois. I love it. And then uh, if Alyssa is here, I would have ordered her. I believe the Matt Cain sandwich is uh, her go to. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna start pulling out some comics while we play, Bear. We're gonna look at some stuff. Why not? Bear, I was saying that Supernatural is a stretch to call great, not Batman shows. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Supernatural was great for a time. For a specific, those first five seasons, oh, chef's kiss. It should have ended after season five. That show did go on for way too goddamn long. There was a point that we were, we've been slowly trying to catch up throughout the years because Alyssa's a huge Supernatural fan. Goddamn, Mike. <laughs> oh, that's just one box too. Jesus. I don't know. Uh, Y'all can't see it, chat, but he's got a, he's got a big box coming in and it's just one of four. So the final 10 seasons, not that good for you. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. Box two of four. There you go. <laughs> Wasn't uh, Supernatural supposed to end in, like, season five? It was supposed to end at the end of season five. Um, and I think the original showrunner might have left a couple seasons later or something like that. Um, same showrunner, I believe, or someone involved in Supernatural uh, is also involved in The Boys. Um, also a great show. So, Baird, I have a bunch of these around my house. Is that a One Bob's Burgers comic? <laughs> Yeah, I saw. I was gonna tell you. I know you'll love this. I I I love Bob's Burgers. So the moment that I saw they had Bob's Burgers comics, L Lulu's namesake I all is, of those. Uh, is Louise Belcher. But I have like four or five of these like boxes, comic book holder boxes, spread around the house that just have random comics in them. That I was like, you know what? Pick a series, put them in there. You'll read them. You know what I mean? And then I never do. Just so everybody knows, this one has nothing but Bob's Burgers in it. Well, a lot of Bob's Burgers, just so you know, Ben. God damn, that Bob's reminds me. Like, I didn't know Bob's Burgers like had like uh, an in with the like comics like that. Reminds me back in the day of like, you know, my my the way that I was able to catch up and read on Ultimate Spider-Man is that like almost all of the volumes were at our local library in Olmsted Falls, Ohio, um, mm. and so I would go to the Olmsted Falls, uh, Ohio library with my grandpa. He'd rent some DVDs because he's, like, a big nerd, so he would, like, rent, like, whatever uh, latest sci-fi movies coming out. So he would rent those and uh, let me uh, get some comics. And I remember there would be so many Simpsons comics to get. And so I remember, like, reading a lot of Simpsons comics back in the day. So that's, re that's really cool. So Shout out to libraries. Are... They're actually pretty great. Libraries are pretty great. Uh, Donate to your local library. So here's, my, here's some of my favorites right here. Batman and Robin. Loved Batman and Robin. Have a bunch of Batman and Robins. And then I think there's like a Batman and Robin Eternal eventually in here that I like. And then inside you got my favorite. Here's my here's my peeps. The Teen Titans, Barrett. You know what I mean? Just love the Teen Titans. And God, I want to rewatch the show so badly. I feel like I need to finish and like follow through on my Batman animated show rewatch before I get to Teen Titans, though. Uh, Twitch chat, pretend like I read these because I'm not. I'm going to put them in a box and throw them in a the closet again. So just pretend like I read them, okay? You know what I mean? Everybody be cool. Pretend like I'm reading these. And over in this box, I even bought like a cool sticker, Barrett, to try to be like, oh, I'll, I'll theme it. So this is DC themed. Which I doubt because I have like two DC boxes, two Marvel boxes. So I doubt that this is only DC, but we'll find out here in just a moment. <laughs> Kebab says, like, uh, I pretend you're going to watch the OG Dragon Ball. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. So this one has the Suicide Squad in it. Mm -hmm. I like the Suicide Squad a lot. Big fan of the Suicide Squad. Big fan of the Suicide Squad. Then after that. Whew. While you're looking through those, I'm putting the mask back on. I've eaten half of my Put sandwich. I'll I'll probably on. eat the other half while uh in like a half hour. 
when we uh, go on break uh, for the Arkham Files. But let's get back in the middle of this fight and tell me more about these comics you got here. I got a lot of Star Wars comics, man. Hell a lot yeah. of Star Wars. Star Wars, Han Solo, Leia. I think there's a Darth Vader one as well. Ooh, if that's Darth Vader, Charles Soul, 100% read that. Star Wars, Darth Vader. We get into the Green Arrow ones that I loved. Tell me everything. I had to have all the Green Arrow this ones. He's my says. favorite. <laughs> I'll tell you everything. Thank you. Right there, Green Arrow. Love nice. that. Nice. Hot. Love Oliver Queen. Failed the city. Like and then he shoots you with a bow and arrow, murders you. <laughs> oh. And this one, mystery box number two. Okay. Mystery box number two. Why is this guy here? I told you. Two Face wants us to look after mm -hmm. him. Hey, stop that man. This one okay. has Amazing Spider Man, so I read all the Spider Mans. That, Hell yeah. that doesn't matter right now. All you need to know is he wants this chump looked after. What did he do? Who knows? So, Boss yeah, as Riddler knows. was saying, he's he got you. secret operatives well, and like all of the different look, gangs. So, no the guy conspiracy. who's highlighted We're green team, is secretly right? a Riddler we affiliate. And, and he's trying to convince told. these other Two Face uh, goons that Two Face wants this uh, hostage for some reason. A lot of Deadpool comics as well. Mm. A lot of Deadpool. Yeah, you, you, you strike a me as a dead, Deadpool, Deadpool yeah. fan. Uh, Rocket Raccoon, the comic I have a Dude, month Dude, there are some really great Rocket Raccoon and Groot comics out there. I saw a headline that Keaton's coming back. What's that for? The f upcoming Flash movie. Seems to be all Thank about you. kind of Flashpoint, and so there will definitely be some, like, uh, different timelines that he's going through and stuff. So that's uh, that's the theory of Batman, how uh, they're going to bring back here. Michael Keaton. I didn't want to do it, but he made me. He had my friend. He stuck a knife in his leg. I mean, it's, it's all my fault, but he was going to kill him. It's horrendously long, and it's he? not at all top tier, He's but insane. No Man's Land is possibly my favorite Batman story. Yeah, No Man's Land was, I, I really loved, um, I remember I reading that before Arkham you. City had come out. I was, I remember You're still living now. in he told me the to city tell you something. He was before very, we moved over to specific. Alameda, and I remember it's reading just that. Some numbers. And I really liked that one two, as well. Seven, five, three, two, five. I have no idea what they And mean. kind of like the premise of Arkham City is like very much based off of No Man's Land, of like... Yeah, you know, here's like a part of the city that like we're just abandoning, and it's just like a fucking free for all, like whatever. Um, but in the No Man's Land uh, comic, right, it was that all of Gotham got abandoned by the rest of the country. Like even I think the Lex Luthor was the president um, at that time, and yeah, they had like a completely abandoned Gotham um, and kind of left it as like this disaster state. Um. All right, 275. Oh, here we go. 325. They did No Man's Land for season five of Gotham, and I didn't hate it. But was Batman in that season of Gotham, or what? Did you figure out what the numbers mean? Yes, it's just one of Riddler's games. He gave you something, right? Yeah, it's just a box. I don't know what it does. I'll figure it out. You should head back to the church. So oh, was he finally there. in that season? That's just like, it never really struck me. Like, I, I appreciate Gotham trying to do something different. I just didn't like the vibe of, like, all of these classic uh, Batman villains. Me this. If you know me, you'll want to share existing me. without but Batman. I just always thought that was weird. Of the poor, soon to be dead doctor who is desperately crying out for help. Just got when Gary Whitta and Greg Miller made a comic? Riddler's loose in Arkham City. All about the he's Joker. The guards from the that show. was wild. As I recall, he's been incarcerated since you led the police to his location from Arkham Island. What does he want? Revenge. He's leaving me radio frequencies, and he gave me a device to decode his riddles. They lead to map references within Arkham City. I'll let you know how I get on. 
Drawn by Dan Mora, the GOAT, Chris Anka says. The GOAT. All right. Or, like, it's crazy to think that, like, Greg Miller got Jim Lee to straight up draw on the side of his PlayStation. That was crazy. Right? That so was insane. Stupid. What's the plan? I say we go down there and kill the sons of bitches. Teach them a lesson All right. going anywhere near. Did some Riddler stuff. So We're not going to continue that thread whatsoever. So that would take us several days. But I just wanted to get it started just in case we... If there's any like fun Riddler solutions we can get while also getting some XP to unlock some things. So now we're going after the penguin who's got Mr. Freeze, and we're gonna see what that's all about. Uh oh. That was a very quick two hours, let me tell you, Mikey. They're moving, they're moving. Batman will come here. It's the bat. I liked Arkham Origins because it was set around Christmas, so you had all the Christmas decorations and the snow on the ground. That I think that was a big deal for me as well. Yeah, like the, really like Arkham that. City is like I think right at the beginning of winter, right? Like it's it's snowing, but nothing's really sticking, right? It's not really the holidays yet, and yeah, you got a lot of like the Arkham Origins like uh, Christmas decorations and stuff like that. It's great. Got him. I feel like the password being this fossil for a for like a dinosaur museum is probably not like the smartest the idea. For breaking in here. Fossil. I like that. That's a cool name. That's a cool name. I also like this guy's uh, penguin logo on his jacket. I think that's pretty dope. Logo. Yeah, I like the penguin logo. Yeah, I like that a lot. I hate the knives in this game. I specifically hate the knife, uh, the knife takedown. I can never fucking nail the timing. So, do you think these games are worth getting into now if one never played them before? A hundred percent. I think yeah. all four of these games age, maybe not as well as every other one, but like, I think they do, in all of their own ways. I think they age excellently. Whether it's design or in story, whatever it is, I think they're all f fantastic games still to this day. So as we see here, there's like a little laser guy. If we go past it, uh, we get blocked off from going past here. So we gotta we gotta figure out where that's coming from. Yeah, I don't think you should ever think twice about playing these if you've never jumped in or if you like these you want to jump in again. The controls all still hold up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you get a cool Batman story with all your favorite villains and characters, you know? They hold up pretty well, like, going back to AC2. I don't know if going back to Assassin's Creed 2 is quite the same as going back to these games. The only way to crack the security is Story? Hell yeah. Music? Hell yeah. Gameplay and gameplay loop? Eh. AC AC2 definitely lost me a, a couple of times in my Assassin's Creed and review replay. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, though, 100%. That game Ooh, ages so, so well. Security. I should head back outside and search for Penguin's Jammer. My video is up. No, we still got... Video is up? No, it's, we still got 23 minutes. You might have gotten, like, a reminder notification, like, hey, it's, it's going up in, like, a half hour or something. All right, so we got blocked out of hacking uh, uh, hacking Penguin's uh, entrance there. He got some s cell blocker things, so we can't use our uh, our hacker thing. Oh shit! Here's an idea: Batman time loop game. <laughs> what was I just playing with Barrett? Or with a uh, blessing, and then all of a sudden it became a time loop. What were we just playing with him recently? Uh, PT. PT, time loop. Time looping, bro. That was fun. That was a fun time. 
Yeah, watching you react to that was so fucking fun. <laughs> what a good time. I will be bro. honest. I think PT might have been the last horror game I've ever played. Never playing a horror game ever again. You couldn't it was un me. It was unbelievable at the end. Like, sure, I already knew about Kojima and all that stuff, but like, seeing that to reveal, have though, that go into that was unbelievable. Is right, still dude. So I, cool. I, no idea. That was wild, wild. What a fun time. So yeah, that was really, really cool to do. Uh, people are asking about Metal Gear Solid 4 and our rankings. So we will do Metal Gear Solid later on. Of course, it will not be this week. We are determining a date. We have a date that will most likely circle and let y'all know, but we'll let you know soon enough. As for the rankings, we'll probably do that at, Metal, at the start of Metal Gear Solid 4. Maybe, yeah. maybe again sooner. I don't know, but probably the 4. Yeah, I, I was thinking at, at the beginning of the Metal Gear Solid 4 stream, we would uh, go back and do the proper rankings for Metal Gear Solid 3, the villains, the Metal Gears. We still have someone for Metal Gear Solid 2 that we forgot to rank in the, the, in the villain rankings mm. that we need to go back to and rank as well. I should look it, it was sad that we had to rush out of that. It's unfortunate right there, but, you know, things had to be done to make sure Kevin was on schedule and moving without any issue. Um, I'm kind of at a loss of what to, what to upgrade next. I, I think I'll probably go the special combo boost. Bear, are you using PlayStation Now for Metal Gear Solid 4? Yes. I will be using PlayStation Oh! Now. What's going on okay, okay, okay. Sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. I, I don't know. We'll find out! And while you're doing it, make sure the other jam is safe, or I'll find you in our stupid point. Well, thank God the radio uh, signal jammed out what he was going to say. It's about to get graphic up in there. Suppressed. The entire site is radio secure. Nice. Where does Cobblepot get military grade kit like this from? He's a collector. He's got things you've never heard of in that museum. Crazy yeah, the stuff. museum is cool. Yeah. No yeah we'll, we'll have some fun little Easter eggs. Screw anyone else who thinks they do. Don't leave me hanging. Tell me. Are you mucking me about? I was, I was about to get really scared that they were gonna find it, that they were gonna be able to see me from there. What are your predictions for the release of Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad? I I would imagine. What the smoke? Oh god! Oh god! That, we're calling it really close here. There we go. There we go. This pile of dudes right here. Just guys being dudes. Um. My guess, in a perfect world, I could see Gotham Knights coming out in like. March or April, and then okay. um, Suicide Squad being like the big fall game in like either like uh, September, October, November range. You know, I think that gives them enough like distance between each other while having two DC games come out in the same year, right? Okay. I think in a more okay. realistic world, Gotham Knights comes out late summer next year and Suicide Squad does not come out next year. Okay, okay, okay. Especially with like not getting gameplay really from either games at DC Fandom. I'm I'm less uh I'm less confident in those games coming out as uh, both coming out in 2022. Do you think we get some gameplay at uh, the Game Awards for one of those two? Because yeah, like you said, it was odd. That. That we didn't get gameplay really for either one of those two. I remember watching those going, oh man, I thought we would have saw something, you know? Yeah. All right, we got one more uh, comms disruptor down below, below the street. Of course it does. It blocks all communications. The clue is in the name. Yeah, I get it. I'm just Those two games are making the way for Spider Man 2 way easier. Yeah, honestly. Hmm. Yes. Not bother with these two gentlemen here. Hey guys. Penguin sounded pissed. Batman's been screwing with his plans. Yeah, I have. What's up, boys? Metal Gear Solid 4 installs each act separately while playing. How is it on PlayStation now? I have no idea. We'll find out. We're gonna we're gonna find out with this service together, my friend <laughs> is right. <laughs> How many people have really used PlayStation now? That will be the See, I was I was I was looking and that's uh, 
that was my deciding factor. Is I was looking at people's kind of reviews of like how Metal Gear Solid Four played using PlayStation Now with like a good enough uh, internet speed, right? And we've got mm -hmm. a gig up, gig down here, so that's not like what I was really worried about. So people are like saying it, it, it's it's a solid kind of way to play it. So okay. And we got a, a riddle over here about Vicky Vale. Oh. Um, and then let's go up this way. Damn it. It's one of those classic days in San Francisco where it's like cloudy and then sunny, and I gotta keep adjusting my mm. ISO over here. Camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is nuts that 4 is just trapped on the PS3. It is fucking wild that. That is the only system that you can play Metal Gear Solid 4 on, is the PlayStation 3. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Good to know. I played it on PS Now a few weeks ago, and it ran smoothly. You no know, install just plays right through. Yeah, that's the problem with PlayStation Now. That's why we don't love PlayStation Now, is that you can't install any PS3 games because of how PS3 games were developed with whatever fucking dumb core thing that they developed. So that's always been the concern of, like, if we decide to stream a game through PS Now that is a PS3 game, like, how well is that going to run? So. It's even got a name. Solomon God. Grundy? Oh, Stupid check it out, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's the thing you can hear in the museum. You know, Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday. You may be right. God, yes. I love it. Yeah. He did the, he did the, uh, like, how he pronounced it, like, uh, born on a Monday. That's, like, a very, like, uh, Midwest way to pronounce, like, the dates and stuff. Like, my grandparents go, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On a Monday. <laughs> That's dope. Is he in this game? See, I, I, that's funny because I thought of him. And I was like, I don't remember which one he's in. Oh, yeah. We'll see him. We'll see him. Oh, this is a, this awesome. is a good, like, uh, foreshadowing. Oh! Oh! We got a Catwoman uh, trophy up there that we'll tag. Hmm. Of course, Yellowbone Jangles. They're doing it right now, big dog. Be up on YouTube in just a little bit. They're recording it in the in the other Discord. Who's screaming? Someone get over there! Yeah, we didn't do live reactions uh, over the weekend just because we we remembered how DC fandom went last year, right? A lot of a lot of interviews, a lot of not a lot of things happening, only a handful of trailers to react to. Yeah. So we, we, we had made the decision as a company to be like, let's enjoy our Saturday. Um, we decided to react to the games trailers after DC Fandom was over, just because we thought it would make some nice weekend content at least, and like use it to promote you know the Arkham Files and the stream today and stuff like that. Um, but we knew that we were gonna wait to react to a bunch of things until today. So yeah, those will be going up uh, as soon as they can over on youtube.com slash kind of funny. Watch uh, the crew react. Uh, Mike, you, you have the Discord up, so you can probably see who's in that Discord. Who's reacting to these trailers? Let me bring it up for you right now. So over on that side, I have, give you a rundown of our Discord channels right now. I have Blessing at EOA Jr. and Janet Garcia recording PS I Love You XOXO. And then on another Discord channel, we have Nick, Tim, and Kevin live reacting to all of the DC Fandome trailers. And uh, I can tell you right now, they're currently watching Batman. I can see it on my screen. Ooh. Batman is currently live. <clears throat> And I do think they all held off from, from watching these over the weekend. So I think Tim only watched the the video game trailers over the weekend. So you're, you're getting their authentic reactions. All right, we've whittled it down to only one guy left. And he's freaking out. I always love that, where you can like check the, the heart rate monitor on all of them. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I know you work for Riddler. Black Adam looks interesting. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, with the when rock. he gets yep. intro, when he gets intro and he holds that dude up by the neck and just like dissolves him with <laughs> lightning, it was like, God damn, that was wild. Also, the Batman looks fucking sick. I cannot wait for that movie. That's like semi soon, right, Barrett? When is that? When does that? That come is out? March fourth, twenty twenty two. Okay. 
Cool. Yep, that is semi soon. That's cool. Um, all right, we've got one more disruptor to jam before we can go back to the Penguins Museum here. Let's find it. Yes, yes, there you go. Don't, for don't forget Twitch chat as well with your support. We can add on to the side mission tally. Right now we're doing one of seven side missions possible. If we fill up that bar each and every time we fill up the bar, Bear will give you the opportunity to vote on another side mission we can go do. So we can see some of the cast of villains. We're doing which one right now, Barrett? Uh, the one side mission that we have unlocked right now is uh, Azriel. So we will Azriel. find him throughout the, the game. We've already found him two out of the four times that you have to find him throughout the throughout the events of the game. So we are already halfway through that. Um, other side missions that y'all can unlock. And again, if we fill up the bar, y'all get to vote on who, uh, what other side missions we get. So let me see here. Other side missions that you can unlock. We got Bane. We got Zaz. We have Hush. We have Deadshot. Uh, Nora Freeze, which is Mr. Freeze's wife. And the Mad Hatter. So if you want to unlock some, uh, unlock some side missions for us to get nostalgic over, fill up that bar. Which is do it, at half health all day. Vic for Vendetta, thank you so much. And DRC, thank you as well for helping us fill up that bar today. I personally want to see Bane, so I'm up in this as well. Let's do this, y'all. <laughs> Let's fill up this bar. Let's get one more. Let's vote on it, and then we'll uh -oh. continue to push for some more. Dr. You know C gave out five community gift subs, and Snowbike Mike gifted out hey! five community gift subs. So I owe two gadgets that I'm not allowed to use. Um, mm. Should I try doing both of them in one at fight encounter time? at okay. the same okay. time? Or should I do one at a time? What, 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 what do you think, Lenny? I say both at the same time. All right, wild. all right. So we need we need Doctor uh, C forty zero uh, forty seventy seven uh, to choose a gadget that I cannot use. We need Mike to choose a gadget I cannot use. That guy Patty has to choose a gadget I cannot use. And Vic for Vendetta eighty seven has a uh, has to pick a gadget that I cannot use. I gotta use. I can't use four gadgets. In this uh, in this next encounter here, you don't here. even get to use anything, bro. You just go out there and so battle Batman's VM and VM Batman. games with the Prime Gaming sub for seventy months. Thank you so much for using that Prime Gaming sub. Don't forget, y'all, if you got Amazon Prime, you got Prime Gaming, and you get a multitude of awesome things like free video games each and every month, along with other cool in-game rewards. But you also get one free subscription to any broadcaster here on Twitch each and every thirty days. So if you got it, please use it on somebody you love. Heck, y'all, no thank you to all the kind of funny best friends for coming out and showing support with the gifted subs. We're about to fill up this second bar, which means we'll do a second side quest, which I'm really excited about. And we got plenty of time. Remember, Barrett's playing through all of the main mission right here, right now, during our fun celebration 10-year anniversary. And then we'll do some side missions All right, well, here, here's the thing. Wanted. Here's the thing. I mean, here's we've got... Okay, so we've got... Five quick gadgets that we have. So there's the Batarang, there's the uh, electric gun, there's okay. the Bat Claw, there's the explosive gel, and then there's the smoke pellet. So <laughs> I guess it's like, it's like uh, yeah, like someone's got to choose one of each, I guess, for me to not use in this next encounter. Mike, what is it, what is your pick? What am I not allowed to use? The electric gun. All right, no electric gun. Do we get uh, submissions from uh, Vic for Vendetta and Doctor C? They went. Doctor C. Doctor C everyone said wild. no batarang. Okay, I like that. And that, that guy you, Patty C. says smoke pellet. Ooh, Patty. So we're, we're waiting on Vic for Vendetta, I believe. And we filled up. The, we filled up the bar bear. Oh wow. Okay, so we got another pull Vic to for run Vendetta as well. Vendetta says explosive gel gone. All right. Gone. So no batarang, no electric gun, no what was it? Uh, explosive gel. 
Yep. And then no uh, smoke pellet. So the only thing I'm allowed to use in this next fight, uh, gadget-wise, is bat claw. We're also going to put up a new poll. Which side mission? Um, so we're going to keep the other two side missions that were uh, in here in the first poll, but we're going to replace Asriel with Hush. So we've mm. got, and that's a, a, honestly perfect timing if people vote for that. The first uh, Hush little thing uh, actually just popped. So we got Hus, Bane, and Zaz to vote, uh, vote for. Y'all got five minutes to vote on which of uh, these three side missions to go after. Uh, and then while y'all are doing that, I'll also update two out of seven side missions unlocked and earned. Time for y'all to vote on which one to do next. Uh, with that being said, all I'm allowed to do is uh, is bat claw and fists on this one. So let's see. What's the bat doing here? This will be easy, freak. Oh! The, the doubles always catch me off guard because, like, I'm always expecting them and not expecting them at the same time. You know what I'm saying, Mike? It's a great gameplay loop here with all the with all this. Just the flow of combat oh! is so much fun. How did they lose me in the middle of this fight? They probably just flew away. Oh, I punched that dude into the other dude and knocked him out. <laughs> There we go. Good job, y'all. Could we have said no takedowns? I guess we could say no take. The only thing I like, I want, I worded it as gadgets, like, because obviously, like, I, I still have the punch and I still have the counter and stuff. So, um, yeah, I guess you can. Um, we'll, we'll add uh, takedowns as a as a future one as well. Sorry about that. We're learning as we go. Uh, you want burritos or tacos for dinner? I'm getting. Um, what am I doing tonight? Mike, am I doing a burrito? Tacos! You're going tacos? I'm always going tacos. Man. I'm going to go burrito. Tacos are my thing. Tacos are my thing, y'all. Burrito, please. This isn't a button mash fest, right? I mean, it's square, 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 triangle, square, 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 triangle. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's as uh, in-depth, I would say, as you want it to mm -hmm. be, right? So, um, especially in Arkham Knight, there's so many uh, things to, like, really make you feel... Um, as much of a, like a uh, uh, as the Dark Knight as you can. Um, it can be mutton. Uh, yeah, it can be a little bit uh, button mashy. All right, Sprat Scotch uh, gave out five community uh, subs. Sprat, give me what uh, gadget I'm not allowed to use. What about no dodging or cape stuns? Yeah, we could add those as well. I gotta like write these down. Maybe I'll do that while uh, we're about to go on standby again because in five minutes, the second episode of the Arkham Files premieres over on YouTube.com slash so Kinda Funny Games. It's all about Batman Arkham City. Uh, today on the 10 year anniversary of Arkham City, it's almost like we planned all of this. Uh, and it's all about how Arkham City is the best at actually making you feel like Batman. Um, what kind of burrito? I'll have to I'll have to ask uh, Alyssa what what we're doing there with what kind of burrito we're doing. Um, I'll probably also do that while uh, we, we we take a break here, stretch our legs, and uh, watch the Arkham Files uh, together over on YouTube. If y'all want to get ready and start popping into the uh, the YouTube premiere here, I'm gonna spam the link here. So. Uh, Get ready for the second episode of the Arkham Files. While that premieres, we're gonna take like a quick break for those who are watching later over on YouTube.com slash kind of funny uh, plays, which you can always watch uh, our uh, Twitch.tv slash kind of funny game streams later on at. Um, this is part one. We'll see you soon for part two of our Arkham City playthrough because oh. uh, I'm kind of keeping these records uh, uh, as close to three hours as possible because I don't want to do the thing where we upload like a maybe an eight hour video mic and then it's processing for three days and then it yeah. like fails the process and stuff like that. So um, there, th that's how we're doing that. So I think we're at a perfect uh, kind of moment to um, – Switch back over here to, to standby, Mikey, uh, unless you got anything else that you want to want to say before we uh, take a quick break and uh, stretch our legs and all that good stuff. No, we'll see you over in the YouTube premiere chat right now, y'all. Y'all know the deal. We'll be there. All right. See y'all in a couple of minutes after our quick break as we watch the premiere of the second episode of The Arkham Files. See y'all in just a few minutes. <laughs> 